Are we now? Have yes. we been live? Are you sure we weren't live when I said I can't wait to be a dip? <laughs> Uh, sometimes you just got to entertain you. Entertain yourself? Yeah. You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I didn't do it. Check yep. yourself before you wreck yourself. Alright then, so, uh, um, okay, I'm gonna go use the restroom for a quick minute, though, but I'll, I'll, before I go, I'll put on some, some royalty-free music. Some Mortal Kombat-free music. Yeah, the best chance to go for that though apparently is uh, is through uh, on uh, uh, NCS uh, no copyright sounds. Oh. I mean, those, some of their songs do have lyrics to it, which uh, that annoys me. But eh, I mean, I mean, I mean, again, uh, they claim all their songs are no copyright. Yeah, they can claim it all they want, but YouTube's still gonna be like, "There's a voice there that belongs to somebody." It's like they gave their consent. We don't have that. We don't have that. They didn't sign with us, so they, they no consent. It's like, eh, well, 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 whatever. Uh, no, well, that's YouTube, but uh, I'm also talking about Twitch and how they can be even more of um, of a, I'm an ass about that. But anyway, uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna use the restroom. Just like that, I somehow made that relevant. <laughs> Uh, Roy will destroy us. Uh, is this stream playing music? <laughs> it's out. Alright, cool. I will return. Uh, everyone enjoy the music. I am going to go make sure that my brother is getting ready. And then I will also be posting uh, stuff. In a second. <laughs> North winds are blowing. Uh, sushi shall be on in minutes. I am going to do this and this and this. And this. Dungeons? Oh, Dungeons in one inch sounds like a good hashtag to have this. I didn't do it, but I should have. And that's all there is to it. I 
I really thought that said live stream of bull. I was like, why? Why would that be a thing? Why would why would anybody do that? That one, I think it was that one. There's supposed to be where I can get into my chat from here somewhere. Stream manager, manager of streams. Be humbled. Be humbled. That's just the loudest fucking car in existence, he said, as he's getting the fucking north winds blown at him. Uh, why is it not hosting? It should be hosting. I don't know what that noise is. It's my computer screaming right there, I guess. Can't tell if I'm hosting him. Can't tell if I'm hosting him. Can't tell if I'm hosting It's just if Genshin lost control of its life. Uh. What is making that noise? This is like a, there's like a noise outside or something. I can't tell. Who is this? I don't know who this is. Get out of here! Don't suggest people to me that I don't know. Like there. What? <sighs> my mom is telling my brother how to park a fucking car <laughs> great And apparently we just have zero people watching somehow. Brett Ultimus. Brett Ultimus is the guy that was in one of those games that I saw. Fuck you ads. How does Twitch have ads? I turned off ads. And everything is an asshole. Hell yeah, D D retweets. Take that. Take it. Take it to the bank. Kenshin is out there making tinkles. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <sighs> I like how I like stopped everything. I am back. YouTube. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, I was muted. <laughs> and I should actually um, go and try and announce this on Twitter as well. <laughs> the most radioactive man in history. What? Hisashi Auchi, the most radioactive man in history. I don't know what that means. Hisashi Auchi, what? Yes, his Sashi Auchi. Oh, uh, by the way, did you did you and Sushi see the um, uh, the thing I posted on the, in the the general chat? Uh, yeah, the wild shapes deck. Yeah, basically a quick reference on what the wild shapes are now you, you can you can do in five E. Am I made of money? I just ordered a new computer, fifteen dollars. Am I rich? <laughs> It kind of reminds me of that meme on. Remember that one, that's one meme where he does like that little. Eh, who, put, who put you on this earth? Eh. 
Yeah. Like he, he went, he went, there's, a, there's a, uh, that, 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 that face, and then, and then someone photoshopped some sort of hack, a very, very happy face over his body, and uh, while he's taking out money out of, out of a wallet. So it's like the first image is, is, is that disgusted, disgusted face, and, uh, and, and, Basically, it's 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 Or the, like also we said about the, the general nerds is like it replaced every figure with like I don't know like a two hundred two hundred dollar statue of Batman. Batman, Hattori Batman, <laughs> the most radioactive man alive. Ah, uh, yes. Forty? Oh no. Oh, the mask free with ads. Get out of here. What? I'm going through my Yahoo or my YouTube feed and it's just like, oh, the mask, free with ads. It's like, get out of here. I watched that all my life as a child. I can't watch it as an adult. It'll be weird. My childhood and it kind of sucked. Uh, how's Roy doing? Uh, he should be getting on his computer sometimes millennia, but like my mom. Oh. I guess she had him move his car in front of the house. Oh. Oh. Hello? hello? Oh. Hello. Oh, you speaking of, speaking of Roy. lessons from Mother. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know what went by that caused my alarm to go off. Oh, your alarm was going off? Something went by really fast and it set off my alarm. Probably a, a Harley bike. Maybe that's what I heard. Because I heard like a weird beeping and I'm like, what is that? Yeah, yeah it was my alarm. Yeah, for some reason though, like I know bikers always tend to like uh, not, not do that though. Like they drive very fast through na na neighborhoods. I guess they they uh, get get the rocks off by hearing on uh, car alarms and uh, go off behind them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally those douche. Red it's literally those joking douchebags from the South Park video. <laughs> Wah. Making my way, making my way downtown, <laughs> walking fast. So are we going for Tailspire or? Uh, no. Since no, we... I don't have it. Yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense because you, you, you did buy a new computer. Indeed. If it hasn't come in. It won't be in for another like month. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, some of our PCs that does not want you to pick up and uh, in person because they uh, didn't want to then, um, deal with the uh, with the the dirty virus. Dumb. I the dirty. You have like one or two people in there. It's not like everyone's going to come in there. Actually, um, yeah, there wasn't even that many people there when it was open. Which kind of funny? I went there when they when they were about to close. Actually, like literally like fifteen minutes before they closed, like because I got there around five four forty five p.m. Because you know Riverside. Um. Well, anyway, I I got there and like and I was see the reception receptionist, so I showed her my email and receipt and everything. Like, oh okay, uh, and uh, and uh, um, we'll go get in a minute. I I a couple minutes past the workers and now uh, who were about to go home walked past me and there were like at least like ten of them. Like, you know, and, uh, and, uh, that's that, that's where they do the, the I assume they assembled the, the computers, and like and a guy and, and, uh, and uh, wheeling over and, and uh, using uh, using a uh, hand trolley and uh, came came over and gave me my my. my my desktop, my headset, and my keyboard. Like, oh, also, and, and a mouse. Like, me, me. And I load up, load up, and then uh, gently into my car and uh, drive uh, as carefully as I can. Yeah, I need to get a new one uh, Tuesday. I need to set a foot in for it. I'm balling. Most of my components are only 11 years old. <laughs> Oh, the only 11 years old, you say? Uh, mostly just the RAM. Uh, RAM and the hard drive are 11 years old. I'm actually surprised that the hard drive lasts that long. I'm, I, I'm actually do plan to actually and, um, replace first, well, for, first and foremost, though, the, um, the graphics card. Um, see, see what, uh, what's compat what's currently compatible with my relatively old, uh, motherboard. And... Yes. And also, I, I also might need to. Do, I may or may not need to replace the um, 
or uh, upgrade the uh, uh, processor. Um, for that one though, I'm, I might need help on that. Um, uh, Roy, do you know how, how to how to do that? How to do what now? Sorry. Repl uh, and uh, replace uh, slash upgrade the processor. Uh, yeah, it's not too hard. Um, you just need to pop off your heatsink and then uh, take out your chip, put in a new chip, apply uh, thermal paste, and then re put on. Thermal paste. Yeah, you want thermal paste. Um, it's that. Uh, if you've ever taken off a heatsink, it'll have like this grayish kind of stuff on there. It's kind of oozy. Uh... Uh, you want to have a layer of that off. Okay, yeah, so that will be cooling. Yeah, that, that, that will be the, the last thing I'll probably do before. Uh, cause, but first thing for foremost, I'll need to upgrade my uh, graphics card. I mean, it, it's only a GTX 950. Yeah, that's still not, that's not horrible. I mean, GTX 950. I think Scarecrow has a 960 in his now. I think he had a worse one earlier. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's still not horrible. Um, when I first got my computer 11 years ago, I had like this random AMD one that was in there that was like an HD3 something, just really old. But... Mm. I know. And we're just waiting on sushi. I think he's getting food or something. Well, I mean, it gives me time for the intro and also to write something down on um, when you eventually go back to the city with the leader of with the yeah with the leader of uh, uh, the the Ventures Guild. Oh yeah, leader of the bunch. Yeah, of yep, he's finally back to kick some tail. Dick Donkey Kong. There's cooking up top. Wait, so when the rap said leader of the bunch, were they, were they making a banana joke? Wait, what? When he said leader of the bunch, was was he making a like a, a banana joke or pun? Yes. Obvious. And it ties back into Harry Belafonte. Oh, I'm finally here. Oh, you're finally here. Sorry. Ooh, that's my spicy cheese. Cat was over, so I was chatting with her. Ah. So he still needs to do the intro. Um, also, I'm uh, moving at the speed of Cripple. Whoa, what happened there? Hmm. Oh, yeah, what do you I, mean? I, He's always been crippled. Mm -hmm. Got that uh, doctor Wait, go mandated cane. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was talking with the. Uh, I talked with. So I went to a therapist, um, like physical therapy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, you know, they were talking, uh, he talked to me, and, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, no, you're handicapped right now. I, I literally am so dizzy that I can't walk straight. But apparently I'm not the only one. There's actually quite a bit of people that are getting that from, uh, COVID. Oh, cool. So. All right, yeah. you're, you're infected. Huh? Right, uh, I, I, I keep thinking, all, all right, you, 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 you got COVID. I, I am the sickness, bro. I told you I was sick. <laughs> we, we didn't believe him. We didn't believe that him. That just reminds me of that episode of Powerpuff Girls where they went through fucking time into the future. And Buttercup was like, I told you I'd win. It's just sushi. I told you I was sick. Yeah, no. Uh. I mean, so far, it seems to be okay. Uh, I, I was supposed to go to jury duty or something, and then I told I told him, and then he just laughed it. He, he laughed, and he was like, hey, you're not going to that. <laughs> what, 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 you called them, say, so like, oh, I, I, I have COVID? <laughs> no, <laughs> Stay I, home. No, I, no, it, it, no I, I was telling him, uh, I'm like, well, I have to go get, he's like, yeah, you just have to talk to your doctor and get them to write you an excuse. He's like, you ain't going to that anytime soon. <laughs> Cause I can't even walk straight. I can't even read. Like I have a hard time reading words. Cause I see like two to three of the letter. So it's like, okay. Which one's the real letter? You gonna be okay to roll some die? Uh, I mean, I've been doing this the entire session that we've been playing. I've been dealing with this for over like 
what? It's five months now? No. So, like, when, when we play games or when we're doing anything, I've just kind of gotten used to it. Oh. Sure. Yeah, He's so I'm... hunting ghosts. Yeah, no, dude, I've been handicapped the entire time. It's just some guy from jury duty doing He's like, he's going to jury duty now. <laughs> no, he asked me, because my vision is so bad, he was like, how are you playing video games? Like, honestly, even I don't know. Through sheer willpower. Through like, sheer shit postery. Like, yeah. must, like, must Power play. Power shit post just fuels me. It's like when Goku is gaining everyone's energy, but it's just shit posting power for me. He ain't beat Goku. He ain't beat Goku. Are you still on about that shit? I'm just saying, Krillin beat Goku. So did, uh, 17. So did 17. So, Man, yeah, on. everyone can beat, beat Goku. Wait, I have to re sign in? So she has to remake his, <laughs> his entire account. Um, Edward, uh, you want to change your uh, that icon? That something that would probably happen to him someday. Edward, you want to change your icon to, uh, to Bast? It's still on, um, uh, Jared's character from, from, from Fallout. Ta-da! Ta Vagu! Oh, wait, should I, should I post the picture I have for my character? Oh, um, when I'm using? Is, is that it? On, uh, the little necromancer thing? Yeah, yeah, it's actually a druid picture, funny enough. Oh, I mean, uh, if you if you want, you could have on uh, Edward and um, draw one as well, because he, he uh, after just draw, an, um, just draw a, dre a tree, a guy in a log suit. That would be fine. It, it could uh, he, whatever do who uses his old previous sketch of you as a joke and just add on more details to it. Yep. <laughs> but uh, no, I know he'll works. he'll probably do it once on uh, he's done with uh, no, with Roy's picture. Uh, yeah, that works. This, this is why you, this is why the children that are listening to the sound of my voice that are going to get the FBI called on me. Never show anybody you can draw ever. You'll always just be the artist for somebody else's work. Bob Ross's ghost, help me. I was trying to sketch out my character and all my sketches look hilarious because I see like three or quadruple of the picture. They're pretty I funny actually. I don't like it. I don't like that you led into that and you were just like, yeah, my drawings look really funny. It's like, so what? please. No, Bethany, like, my sister saw one and she was just cracking up. She was like, you can't even draw a circle correct. I'm like, don't make fun of me. And you're like, bullshit, and you draw an entire detailed face and then you erase it into a circle. And you're like, take that. Oh, yeah, the SpongeBob meme? Yeah. <clears throat> First I draw his head, then I race on the firing lines, and then I race that, and a circle thingy. Wait, where did we left, leave off? We were fighting like the goop monster thing? No, we had just beaten that, if I recall correctly, and we had met with the... Yeah, we uh, met the guild, guild master. Hmm. Yeah, the guy that's like, what is it? Big dick or something. Big dick wreck. Big the leader of the uh, leader, leader of, of all um, the Chads. Basically, he's basically the leader of the uh, uh, the Avengers Guild, and also on a, he's like a, some sort of high standing ranking within the um uh, the 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 Golibat, the Golibatus clergy, which is all of you guys will know who Golibatus is. Golibatus is the god the god of of uh, of adventuring. Shit, yeah, that's a very nebulous. I mean, are we talking like? Adventuring is in like going out and seeking dungeons. Or are we talking about adventuring? Like, hey, I just discovered a new kink. Let's get adventure. Why not both? We talk about the southern hand grip here, Kench. No, it's it's more more on the former. It's on a, it's literally going out doing doing quests on um helping the fell kingdom. It also encompasses a little bit on the shadow the shadow part of adventuring where you know you do a little um. Backstabby adventuring, but then if you want, if you if you want, just like go out and kidnap people, then uh, Gal Gal does not uh, uh, encompass that. Sounds like an edgy teen is our god. No, he just said that she doesn't like that. I mean, oh, it, 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 it's, it's basically the fact that uh, I, I, I'm in my world and uh, I'm all upon like an um, if there are major concepts and uh, there, there's a god for it. 
So adventuring is like a big concept in, in my world for obvious reasons. Because more for one, and a, a lot of the islands and sky and ground, and also above and above the wall, up, up below the water and above the sky, still needs to be undiscovered. So there's a lot of places still that there needs to be rediscovered again. Goddess bathwater in your world? Huh? Can we find goddess bathwater in your world? No. Oh, I'm not gay. I mean, like, a, no. uh, it could be it could be one of the, one of the celestials for 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 Shion. The, the god the god of the ocean. Shion Kazing. Does Best have a have the a symbol for Shion on on like on his person? Because uh, I, 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 I since 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 I didn't think about that. No, no, no well, I'm, I'm just saying in general because uh, um, uh, do you want to be an acolyte for for Shion or just like a just a, a person who just uh, worships Shion? Uh... I mean, I, 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 know, I, know, I know there's actually the acolyte trait. Uh, I think I'll just be a, a, a mild worshipper. I mean, you, uh, you, you can like you know just on uh, basically add on like um, like say I don't know the the symbol of on, on your on your on your trident or something. Uh, no, no, that's where that ruby's going once I find it. Ru ruby. I want to find the ruby of the warcaster so I can make my trident be my casting focus so I can shoot lightning and then when they go ha ha you used all your spells I'm like not this spell and then I just hurl my trident <laughs> Wait then um, <laughs> is that a natural thing? Yeah it is that's that's why I'd asked you when we first started about uncommon magic items Oh because, um, uh, what, what book is that ruby in? Uh, it should be in the Basement? The, 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 the DM's guide? Let me double check. Here's our guide for everything. It's probably Xanathar. Hold on, I'll quickly peruse on Xanathar and the DM's guide. Oh, there you are. Fuck, I almost puked a little. Yeah, it's Xanathar's. Yep. Xanathar! Oh, Xanathar, you are quirky, you are a quirky little beholder. At least you're not uh, trying to uh, prolong your death and become, uh, become that, that, that undead beholder. I'm gonna go get some antacids real quick, just in case. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Having uh, having a heartburn or acid reflux is, is, a bad, is a very, very bad thing. Magic item tables, here we go. Um, 140. Oh no, that's just a table itself. What do you call it again? A ruby of what? Sushi? Ruby of the Warcaster. Ruby of the Warcaster? Hmm. Okay, why does a DM's guy that do not, does not have an index? What the hell? I mean, not, not that, that's Xanathar's. Okay, spellcasting, no. The DM's tools. Spells, shared. Non human names, human names. I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. Do 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 No, I'm not alone. No, I'm not alone. What 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 rarity is a ruby? What? Probably uncommon. Uncommon? Uh, uh there it is, Ruby of the War Mage, Janathar's Guide to Everything, page 138. 138, okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's, there's it's a whole entire list of it. It's a common minor tier. Wondrous one. item. Yeah, it's, it's, common, uh, it's a common wondrous item. Requires attunement by a, spell, by a spellcaster. Oh, Pog. Where I happen to be. Etch with Eldritch Runes of this one inch diameter ruby allows you to use a simple or martial weapon to as a spell casting focus for your spells. So currently currently it is your shield, right? Uh no, I was gonna attach it to my trident. I mean I mean currently uh, it's my uh, I have that little orb on the side. I have the, the 
I think it's just regularly called an orb, but I refer yeah, to it as a but pearl. D- did you say you attach, attach it to your shield? No, I have it hanging off of my belt. Okay. Like in a little satchel thing. Like a little... Like the fucking holsters that, uh... <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, I expected you to actually attach it to your shield or something, or uh, have it as a necklace, because then uh, Roy has it on his character as a, as a, as a ball and chain, uh, a ball and chain uh, aesthetic. And then just swings it at everybody. I mean, that, yeah. <laughs> he swings it, and then the, mm-hmm. the fucking cleric of VTubers is like, yeah, bye, and he's just like, shut up. Uh oh, you mean my cleric? <laughs> Allows you to use simple or martial weapons as a spellcasting focus or your spells to for this property to work. You must attach the ruby to the weapon by pressing the ruby against it for at least 10 minutes. Thereafter, the ruby can't be removed unless you detach it as an action or the weapon is destroyed. Not even an anti-magic field causes it to fall off. The ruby does not fall off the weapon if your attunement to the ruby ends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I actually found out about it in a video. About common magic items, like the little, there's like a little wizard's hat. I think I've mentioned it to you before where it's like, um, you can attune to it and it becomes your spellcasting focus, but you can also like, I think it's like once a day or once per long rest or something, you can pull out a random cantrip out of it and just hit people with it. This is actually pretty awesome. Uh, magic, magic item tables. I wonder if, um, wonder's item weapon, wonder's item. Oh, it's not, it's not part of the table. Yeah, the, 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 this can't find funny. These tables are as well I used for the main campaign, how you got your magical items for for cheap. Because uh, remember, I told you, I told you that reason though she's able to find them uh, very very easily because she has some sort of uh, innate ability to find magical items. But she thinks they're just common items to find, so that's why she priced them very cheaply. <laughs> All right. And then uh, that's why, and that's why then. Uh, but the, the thing is, though, here's the, here's the, the good thing about it though. She she can find them very easily. The bad thing is though, she thinks they're just, they're just common items. Like, oh yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure everybody has a flying carpet. Yes. Wait, is she different from the one that we were buying stuff from the from where the Tanuki? I just kept staring at the Tanuki like fuck you. Oh no, that that, that was her. She is she was the apprentice. apprentice. Um, uh, she, she was the uh, the um the 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 four book apprentice who was raising money to try to cure her uh, master. Ah, yes. Yeah. I have that written down, I think, on my character sheet. Yeah, she's a good egg. And, um, she's try- she, and again, she's trying to find out on... Uh, um, she has a, 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 a ability to find uh, mag- 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 wonders items. Mostly, mostly common for obvious reasons, but um, she finds them very easily compared to other adventurers. And she priced them cheaply because of the fact that she finds them very easily. It's like, oh, I know you can have this one, one magic, magic carpet. I'll probably find, find another one in about a week or so. It, it's, 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 it's that kind of attitude. Too nice. I mean, just walk all and, over. and also because she's an idiot, she doesn't know what the pro- true price of, of them are. Uh, Don plays on uh, about the how I was selling selling you guys and uh, those wondrous items for not uh, very early. Yes, it's all thanks to her. <laughs> and that's why, that, that's that's why the Tanuki is also angry because he knows how much those things are, and he and he knows if he had them, he will actually end, um up the price as well uh, by at least hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. By at least hundred percent. So I kept giving him dirty looks. Fuck that guy. He's a Tanuki. Fuck that he's, guy. He's, uh, he's, he's honor- Tanukis are honorable, but they're also swindlers. Uh, unlike uh, certain kitsunes. Or, you know, foxes. I know, I know that they're fucking swindlers. I played Island Adventure, whatever that game's called. Animal Crossing? That everybody played for like a month and a half and then stopped playing. Oh, was like, Animal Crossing. That's it. Play that. Pretty good. Fucking guy. Oh, we need people to live on this island, but you're also gonna owe me a shit ton of money because I wanted you to live on this island. It's like, am I not doing you a favor? Like, why are you. Yeah, you're talking about Tom Nook? Yeah. Tom Duke, as I call him. Duke is short for Dukey. Oh, speaking oh, of Duke, uh, speaking of Duke, apparently er, 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 everyone of the fans though have moved on from from, from, from the big vampire lady and uh, started on um, uh, re- revering Duke as a, as a big friendly guy. Uh, I've yet to see them move away from the vampire lady. I literally watched a video where they took the uh, what's the movie with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker? 
for their cops. Oh, yeah, I saw that one too. Yeah. Or he's just like looking through the window with the thing, and then the guys like stuck. They're just checking out the the Duchess's huge ass. Yeah. So is Roy's character look like his picture right now? Is he just balling? No, no. That would be funny for a character though. Just look like kind of what Shoujo Harry Potter. Kind of Shoji will be. Literally Ogi in real life though. Somewhere. Yeah. That was a very good game. Well, visual novel, I guess. No, yeah, it's good. good. Ogi never beat it. Wait, he hasn't? What? Nah, he literally got stuck on uh, the part where you meet Ren. Mm. Because he likes the song. It's like, just play it in the background as you play. That game is pretty freaking based. That's real good. 13 hours for one. GL, boy. NGL. I'll be right back. I'm gonna throw away some stuff. Alright. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get acid reflux. <laughs> Again? <laughs> no, I haven't taken my stuff yet because I'm still eating the food. So oh, I'm gonna wait till okay. I'm done eating it and then I'm gonna actually probably take them. This is just the meme that keeps on me. There's literally something for warlocks called the Dark Shard Amulet. You use it as a focused uh, thing, but you can also cast a cantrip that you don't know, apparently. Yeah, that's that's basically that's the wizard cute. hat. That's that's literally just the wizard hat, but for uh, warlocks. 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 Yeah, I was like looking through all the common uh, uh, magic items right now. That'll be for sushi when he gets back. Why? Why was you do me like this? <laughs> Where's Kicker? There we go. <laughs> Toss all gold to your warlock. Salty warlock? Sushi! <laughs> he's become a warlock, maybe. <laughs> he's become a war- his, his patron is crocodile. <laughs> I knew it. Wait, what happened? Well, for one, I posted a picture of Roy's character. Oh, you. you wait. Dirty. <laughs> Toss all gold to your warlock. We you mean, you mean Roy's character? <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't Jared do this more often? He's got <laughs> Why was he British? <laughs> Me lady. I don't know. a in it. <laughs> oh, I guess, yeah, that is. Yeah, that is. Never mind. I was like, that's not British. And I thought about it. Wait, no, it's super British. What am I talking about? I was trying to do the Austin Powers theme. <laughs> Me lady. <laughs> Don't fear, tis not a gallery of fine arts, you may touch upon thee. <laughs> oh, CPR repos. Oh, oh that, speaking, of speaking of books, speaking of books, I actually remember myself to actually buy um, Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. Van Richten's Guide to Wait, Surviving High School? What was that? Does that book come out this month? Uh, yeah, it does. And, um, it, uh, it should be come out on uh, late May. Uh, it has uh, some, some new races to play as, and um, I, I know for sure you can play as an. Um, uh, yeah, and, and I know for sure, on, on, uh, uh, according to some other DD players, though, you get to play as a Dampier. 
And I believe also a, um... Uh, basically some monster races. So I, I think you also play as as, as natural one, um, a wear kind. You, you know, a... The um, two classes that I am looking forward to is the new uh, Spirit Bard. That one sounds really Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. And the new Warlock class, because that sounds a little broken. What's, little what, what's, our, what's our patron for that one? Uh, not sure. It's like Undying or something like that. It's Ooh. the other one. Hang on. Oh, well, I, 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 I was taking a dump. I, th I thought that there was another book though that had like an, uh, a skull patron where it will, it will, uh, it won't allow you to die. Yeah, there's one, and then this one is like uh, undead is the new one. So they have undying. That was in Sword Coast's uh, Adventures. So the new one should be the undead one, uh, which should be coming out. This one is really cool because you get to take the form of your patron a little bit. And you get uh, this is in the Arcana. Um, Unearth Arcana right now. Wait, know. are you saying you can become Grave Lord Nito? Essentially, you gain hit points equal to one d10 plus your Warlock level. Once during each of your turns, when you hit a creature with an attack, you can force it to make a Wisdom saving throw, and if the saving throw fails, target is frightened until the end of your next turn. You're immune to the frightened condition. This is all at level one, by the way. And you can transform a number of times equal to your proficiency bonuses, and you regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. The appearance of your form of dread reflects some aspect of your patron. For example, your form could be a shroud of shadows forming the crown and robes of a lich patron. Or your face might transform into bat light features due to your vampire patron. Uh, level 6, patron power ha uh, have a profound effect on your body and magic. You don't need to eat, drink, or breathe, which is fucking crazy. I want to be that, but I want to be a, uh, uh, for, for a Warforge. <laughs> I already have all of that. While you're using your form of dread, you can roll one additional damage die when determining the necrotic damage of the, tar of the, tar the target take. So you basically, for example, if you were to choose Eldritch Blast, you would add another D10 on top of it. So you do D10, D10 plus more than likely your uh, Agonizing Blast, which is just a 4 or 5, depending on what you have. At level 6, you probably have a 5 in it. So, <laughs> yeah, extra damage. Just easy. This fucking cosplay needs to knock it off. <laughs> and then you're at level 10, you basically are a mute or a resistant to necrotic damage. Wizard here. When you, uh, if you transform into the form of Dread, you become immune to necrotic damage. Also, this one is kind of funny. Uh, when you are reduced to zero hit points, you can cause your body to explode. What? Each creature within 30 feet of you takes necrotic damage equals to 2d10 your, plus your warlock level. Uh -huh. You then revive with one hit point in the previous in your previous phase along with your gear, and you gain one level ex of exhaustion. Once you revive this way, you can't do so until you finish 1d4 long rests. Aw, I want to explode. Wait, wait, wait hold, hold on. Whoa, wait, so, great. wait, so hold on, so like, um, it says 1d4 long rest, so even, even if the exhaustion goes away, you still need to roll four, a d4, and you roll a 4, then you can't use that perk again until 4 days pa uh, has passed. Uh, if you roll craftily, yes. If you roll 1 on that, so it's just 1 long rest, then you're good to go. That's why you get the barbarian to carry a giant urn, and then you just sleep in it for 4 days. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I I, 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 I still kind of like the, the I still kind of like the Zelda Barbarian work because they can they can actually still be alive and rage even even if they have zero hit points. And then uh, at fourteen, uh, yeah, okay. your body is now a simple vessel for your spirit. As an action, you can project your spirit from your body. Your body leaves behind an uh, is left behind unconscious in a state of suspended animation. Your spirit can remain outside of your body for an hour or until your concentration is broken. When the projection ends, your spirit returns to your body, of, or your magic, or your body magically teleports to your spirit space. That's your choice. Spirit and while space. projecting your spirit, you gain resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. You can cast the spell of Conjuration or Necromancy School. The spell doesn't require vertical, somatic, or material components that lack the gold cost. You Got just... You I'm sorry, you just become what's her face from uh One Piece. The the, the ghost girl. Oh, um 
What is her name? Uh, I can't think of her name. Or P, I it's think. Perona. Perona. Perona, yeah. She's got life flight speed equal to your walking speed and can hover. You can move through creatures and objects if they're difficult terrain. <laughs> but you have but you take one D ten force damage if you end your turn inside of a creature or object. While you are using your form of dread once during each of your turns when you deal necrotic damage to a creature, you you regain hit points equal to half the amount of necrotic damage dealt. At level 14, how many Eldritch Blasts are you using? A lot. Because they get like... Cause it's Wait. Good. What was that? What? Fuck. What, what was that other thing you were saying? I was laughing and I don't remember why I was laughing. God damn it. <laughs> And at uh, level 14, you are shooting three beams of Eldritch oh, Blast. Yeah, bet. With 2d10 force damage plus five. What is this, Warlock, you said? Yeah, this is uh, Warlock. They may change it, because that does seem a little powerful. No. But we'll see about it. What's it called? I mean, Un can be undead? Uh, undead, yeah. Nothing can be <laughs> as powerful as the fucking Hexblade Warlock. Let's just be honest here. X-Blade is just ridiculous. I remember what it was now. I just imagine it's just like the fucking undead patron just comes up and goes, you now have all my powers, and then your warlock's just like, cool, and then you start levitating? <laughs> <laughs> That's all you do with his power? Are you Chris Angel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy God. Holy crap. It's Luna Chris Angel. <laughs> levitating. <laughs> and you have all my powers. The bard one I'm excited for just because uh, of the uh, that you can use like uh, Ouija board, a deck of cards, crystal ball. He just cards. wants to be sushi. <laughs> 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 Fucking phasmophobia. Oh my God, what a skull! How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? <laughs> the Ouija board just <laughs> spells out your band. You're like fucking weebs. Ah, uh, good times. So, uh, yeah, it's like 8 o'clock. Are we going to actually start playing? Yeah, sorry. Um, there we go. And Not it, to be rude, Ken. I know. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was preparing some other tomorrow things on the side, but that intro was will be done. I'll, I'll let you guys know how to see what I'll, I'll preparing that one. But that's assuming you get, you get that far. But anyway. Uh, okay, then, ready to start. I'll... Go and play the music. Oh, where's this one? Music. Uh, I guess this one here. Do -do -do -do. Elmo's world. Wait, what? One thousand years has passed since the great corruption with the populace fleeing to the skies. Here was some. Oh, hold on. It's, it's, it's doing that again. What? What's it doing? Uh, playing songs on both on both of my on both of my windows. Oh. Uh, I keep forgetting Firefox that doesn't does not like to remember shit. Nope. Nope. Alright then. Nah. Uh, Discord. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, now I find muted. So here we go. Uh, One thousand years have passed since great corruption, with the populace fleeing to the skies. Heroes have come and gone, but the stories have remained. As we join the uh, Bastionard, the Merfolk Fighter, Bill Grieve, the Goliath Druid, and Julius, the Human Warlock, our party has gone after a group of goblins acquiring these balls of mashed potatoes. They have acquired four before they rested up for the upcoming battle with the alleged goblin leader who has the ability to fly. Soon, uh, soon after dispatching the goblins, they look upon this floating, glowy baked potato. As soon as Julius took it off the pedestal, it released a big, hulking, Monstro monstrosity and uh, uh, some sort of blob monster. With the help, the, with the help of, the, uh, of the intervention, with the help and intervention of Drudge, the Goblin Alchemist, and his homunculus assistant, they were able to dispatch it very easily, along with uh, any um, fire and holy magic that they're able to and, um, launch upon this creature. Since uh, Drudge told them about the weakness, after dispatching it, they soon meet the leader of the Adventures Guild, clad in immaculate armor being flanked by two paladins of Galavanus. This is their story. This is their headcanon. As we welcome you to these Guild Chronicles. I thought you were going to start echoing at the end there for a second. I was like, ooh. 
All right, to then. So, uh, putting the cave time music back on. Okay. And, and you are currently in this in this um, uh, chamber with um, three dead goblins. Um, uh, uh, three dead goblins, a pile of potatoes on, on the side next to this alchemist table, and a pedestal that used to uh, house not only the big potato that's currently in um, in Joyce's uh, uh, possession, but also uh, where this blob monster came from. And in front of you is, well, next to you guys is on uh, Drudge the Goblin Alchemist, along with his on, uh, homunculus, which which you know what, what it is. Uh, that's on the guise of a very, very well-endowed, very busty elven woman. That stands right, 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 right next to Drudge. And entering the cave, being flanked by two uh, paladins of Gullivanus, is Ivan Brightwood, the leader of the Adventurers Guild, clad in immaculate battle armor. You've seen Ivan at least once or twice uh, throughout your adventuring career within the guild, and you always see him like you know uh, as an uh, um, the typical uh, uh, guild leader. They wear that 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 the atypical you know like kind of like medieval on uh, businessman suit, and, um, where the basically a typical on uh, on uh, on um, pencil pusher. But this is the first time you actually seen him in in full battle armor, and he looks frightening, like. Imagine uh, Jon Snow, but wearing an uh, 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 intimidating battle armor. Okay. Yeah. Why did you pick Jon Snow for that? I I remember back back in the early days, though, why 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 I described uh, Ivan Brightwood to to the main to the, to the main campaign. I said imagine Jon Snow, but uh, a little more rugged and a little more handsome. I don't remember that. Wow, I should have probably wrote that down. Yeah, but that, that, that's what he yeah, says for, uh, like, uh, for Ivan Brightwood. Imagine Jon Snow again, but uh, a little bit more rugged and um, a, lo- a little bit more handsome, if that's even p- p- possible. And instead of being as a typical uh, the guild master attire, he's in, he's in, he's clad in immaculate armor. Like it, this is something that on uh, the, this is something like the um, at the very least the god of uh, the god of the forge or uh, had to uh, had to make for him. God. And it's like threaten him to make it. What? Did he threaten the god of the forge? He's like, give me fucking nice armor. No, he did it like um, he did it like uh, Conan the Barbarian. Grom, I want a cool piece of armor, please. Christmas, please. All right, so you're there, and like, he just starts at you. I heard those on emergency here. Uh, Drunch, you told me on uh, on uh, something about the corruption. Oh, um. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, uh, I didn't think on, uh, these, uh, these, yeah, um, people, no offense guys, were able to dispatch it very, very easily. But, uh, apparently they have magic on their side, and, um, as a celestial patron, he, he, he cocks his head down, down, down towards you, Julius. Something like that. Also, I'm about, I, like, take oh, a quick, uh, I'm gonna take a quick peek inside. Also, a, a, an above game, it's actually uh, serendipitous that the, your imp died in front of, and, and before an, uh, Ivan Brightwood actually showed up. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't like, uh, he doesn't like anything from the Infernal. Mm. He's, uh, he's very, he's very, uh, zealous about it. There's, there's a reason for it, though, but uh, both the main campaign and the side campaign has yet to learn why. But anyway, yeah, so like, Okay, um, well, anyway, on, um, a corpse-ridden cave, and you see, and he looks behind you guys, you see traces of the corruption still there, uh, uh, no longer alive, it's in, it's in that, uh, that, um, that, uh, neutral stasis, um, you know, it's like, not really dead, but not really alive, but the, but then again, you guys don't little to, you guys know little to nothing of, of the corruption except from your stories and and history lessons you learned as as kids. Mm. And so like I'm like, let's head back to the floating tavern. Um, and after that though, you, you can give me a report. But for now, um, he looks he looks to you three, good work. And he just uh, turns around and marches off. that boys we got the approval of the big man himself master brightwood has praised us 
I'm going to chuck one of the goblins across the room. I'm still in wolf form. <laughs> Hey, he's still carrying. He's still carrying that that corpse away, 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 away from the corruption. Yeah. Like, like the worst corpse, Ohino. Um. All right. Um. One of you guys who's strong enough, though, you might have to bring uh, the leader. Uh, I, I could uh, a small portion of the government forces we wrangled up. You know, the one that's not dead, which I, I assume is your guys's work. That uh, that a good portion of them are dead. Hmm. Uh, uh, if you don't know, this is drug shocking right now. But yeah, uh, uh, a, c a couple of them are actually scared that uh, they want to uh, actually, you know, stay alive and and um, maybe be under the them or... S the point is that they want to stay alive. That's how goblins are. And the other half that are, of course, so what goblins are uh, as well. They want to stay alive, but also they don't want to be under the heel of some... Well, you guys. And they... And, and they're angry about being captured, and and, uh, and some of them are actually enough fading saying they want to rather be dead rather than be slaves. They're lying, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's above game. I, I just, I just, that that is how goblins be. That's sometimes how it do. Yeah, and besides, a lot of them I will think that him is still alive, so... And so, maybe chucking the corpse in front of them might actually change their mind. I don't know. Up to you guys. Uh, I I don't give a shit. I'm going to carry one of the go. I'm going to carry there. Wait, so the goblin leader's still there? The body is still there? Yep, he's still there. I mean, you guys, you guys did a good job on on uh, on uh, not getting, not letting the corruption on uh, take any of these bodies. I'm just gonna oh, carry yeah. him with us then. I'm sending a message. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The dead goblins. Yeah, because then I'm gonna melt him with poison spray in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> You're currently well, you're, you're currently a dire wolf. Well, we're currently a wolf. I know. Yeah, that is true. I'll just carry him in my mouth, right? And drag him all around. Take that, goblins. I and think Princess Mononosuke's uh, <laughs> wolf. <laughs> and so like um, uh, I'm just getting my dice ready. I haven't I haven't put I got the money yet. Get, get my die hard dice. Sponsor. It has uh, Bruce Willis's face on it. Mm, no, but uh, there actually are a couple uh, that are called die hard dice. I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by them. I just uh, like their product, and they have very good uh, polymer mill dice. Huh? And when you use coupon code on uh, on uh, uh, ta task and on checkout, you get a good ten percent off. Not sponsored, by the way. Not sponsored, by the way. I just uh, watched. I, I I just watched uh, a um, the YouTuber. Uh, the I just watched uh, the, the Twitch channel. The the I uh, like like their work, and they actually are sponsored by the by the hard dice. Come on, somebody sponsor us. Who doesn't want to be sponsored by a guy who runs a game for a guy who plays a slave monk, a fishman, a nudist hippie gnome. <laughs> Come on, the possibilities are endless, you guys. Well, anyway, so... Sponsor us. Please. Anyway, so, uh, now you go outside. Um, you see, uh, Ivan, uh, Ivan Brightwood, though. He, he, he's again. And, um, you see the ones that, that actually uh, agreed to actually, you know, you know, like, uh, with their terms, ter with their terms. Uh, not tied up, actually. They're, they're actually helping Ivan, uh, convince uh, the ones who are tied up, who are very, very stubborn. And, and you see, uh, now for the first time, you see uh, uh, Ivan Redwood talking goblin to them. And like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you see a lot of them yelling, like, uh, a lot of them yelling back, and go like, <sighs> and George like, uh, they're again saying they'd rather die. Of course, you know, they're, they're lying. Uh, in, innately, uh, naturally, all goblins want to live. And uh, w whether we want to do it uh, uh, consciously or subconsciously. Mm. He takes out a flask and just swigs it. Oh God. I snap the body in half in front of them. <laughs> Roll me an intimidation check uh, uh, as your wolf. As my wolf. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, you, you, no, you're no, in Rizma, right? No, we're in the cave now, so I, you're not in the forest. Okay, hold on. Let me... Where's my character, Shiro? Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. 
bling bling boy. I'm bling bling boy. Johnny Test. So it's intimidation, right? Yeah, roll me to just as, as your wolf. As wolf, so it's a negative two. What? Yep. Wolf's ha uh, dire wolf has a negative two because uh, it has seven charisma. Well, don't you have at least an, an intimidation skill? Uh, no. Well, shit. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, I don't know. I was gonna say that that all his like, like his his mental stats are just his. All the physical is the wolves. Yeah, and Christmas 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 is technically physical, which I'm I. I don't I, think any, but if it is mine, if it is mine, then it's just a flat normal because my charisma is ten, so it's a zero. Oh, uh, well, so read me, read me wall shape, and if it says anything about it, about that, or keep mm, keep keep put wall shape no, in chat. Uh, hold on. Are you put? Uh, oh, oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I put the level, entire. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh, your games, your okay. So your game statistics are replaced by the statistics of the beast, but you retain your alignment, personality, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores. Okay, okay. So charisma scores are still the same thing. So okay. yeah. So just just, just roll a tradition with your stats. Yeah, still a seven. Still a seven, Pog. Oh, I'm still going to do it, by the way. I still want to snap him in half if I can. Oh yeah, that, that, well, that was part. That was part of the intimidation. I mean, you you do that in front of the tide of goblins, and I'll just roll a couple of d twenties. You see, about two of them actually, I actually agreed. So the um, so on, um, the the two paladins actually picked them up. Untie them and then start huddling, huddling behind the uh, uh, um, behind Ivan, while the rest are still being stubborn. Um. Like, like <sighs> great. Uh, Ivan. Um, you, you know they're just they're, they're just like orcs. They're just just got. I know, I know. In fighting, kill each other. See who the new leader is. I just want, I just want them safe this time. Yeah, me too. Well, that rules out what I was going to say, which was we just beat the shit out of them until they follow orders. I was going to say, just brainwash one of them and then instill him as their leader. <laughs> huh? That might work. Like a puppet ruler. <laughs> He'll talk to him one, one more time in Goblin. And uh, this is my, I'll, roll, I'll roll for his charisma. Well, and he is very charismatic, too. A very charismatic and dash. <laughs> And overall, Chad, as you will. Not, not when I gave him advantage. I gave him advantage, and he still rolled eight. Plus, uh, so plus. Um, Chad Virgin, right there. I want to save him. I, I, I want to save with that. So when your Squidward turns beautiful. So, so with the low roll though, instead of, instead of getting all, all of them, they still get they all get that uh, one third of the group left. They all choose that uh, um to uh, um side with them. So like, you have got like at least ten goblins left, while the the, the rest of the goblins are um um. T yeah, roughly about ten goblins left who are still tied up, while the rest of the goblins though who's almost as equal as the group you uh, uh, that's still tied up and um are behind Ivan now. <sighs> Drunk is all I can do. I'm gonna go get a drink. Me as well with Will Hart and uh, within Tavern. Right, got it. And Drunk touches that touch him again. He he goes all over and smacks one, and uh, got, um, and uh, attacks him again, and he will try and convince him. Oh God, Drunk! Seriously, what? He rolled a natural eighteen. <laughs> So the rest of these goblins are just more scared than actual on uh, actually agreeing with them, and uh, and I uh, test them again in, in goblin, and he one by one starts untying them. So, uh, so um, great. As good as a bad news actually. Good news that, that that they won't be doing any more bad stuff and they won't kill anyone. Bad news they now see me as their leader. Oh, that's uh, a problems, then. <laughs> he crushes his back, going like, uh, and so then, uh, uh, 
there goes you guys. All right. Um, I told them to actually make camp outside of the tavern, but not be seen. And I'll be back for them. And he each, he each, and uh, basically, and, um, he pulls out a scroll, and he starts reading it, and um, uh, Bill Grieve, are you, uh, you're still a wolf, right? Yep. So how long has it been? Because Wild Shape doesn't last like super, super long. Uh, how long does uh, how long does it's like an hour? Right. It, it, it is not an hour. Uh, the remember battles, battles take, take that uh, one. Remember, ten rounds of a battle is is a minute. Okay. Yeah, so it, it hasn't been an hour though. So I, I, I mean, are you staying? Are you staying as a wolf? Yeah, I'm just gonna chill as a wolf. Why not? Chilling. <laughs> All right. So it's okay. wisdom, intelligence. Okay. So, um. No, I don't think it has a time limit. Wait. Oh, it does? Yeah, it does. It, it should. Does. Yeah, it should, right? It says, uh, you can revert to your form early by using a bonus action on your turn. You automatically revert if you fall unconscious, drop to zero, or die. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no time limit. Uh, I'll see, yeah, I'll see it in the description. Limit. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what it was. Well, then I'm just, now I'm just going to chill really? as a wolf for now. Time limit. And look it up though while I do this on the RP thing. So on um, well it doesn't matter regardless though because it, it still uses your intelligence and uh, your your main intelligence stat. So like um, no grief. As on um, I I, I know you're not, I know for sure you're not, you're not trained in our in nature. Are you training in, Ar in Arcana? Nope. Oh, and then, then well regardless, and uh, roll uh, as he's doing this scroll, roll nature or Arcana of your choice. Uh, uh, nature or economy choice with advantage. Nature. There we go. Yeah. Kenshin will probably get that one. A nine. Huh? Fucking roll 20. That means... Always refresh your page, Sush. <laughs> Wait, what? You want me to refresh? You can refresh. It's supposed to help when you start getting low rolls. It's supposed to change up the algorithm or some. I don't know how computers work. I just so, usually when I start rolling low, I usually just refresh the page. So with the with the roll of nine, um, you recognize the spell. It's it's good berry. As a, 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 a as a plant comes up and and a, actually I got a couple of plants on that go I'll go up though. So so with that with the sight of being a multiple plants. You assume this is this is being cast at a higher level, but something about the scroll feels familiar. Like the magic it, it's it's portraying it feels familiar. Hmm. And and uh, and and it just goes you like, all right, this will keep, this will keep him fed and, and happy until until I get back and sort this thing out. Uh, I think you can make. And I uh, see that the elf god goes home. I think you'll make a very good leader. Shut it, you. Intriguing. And uh, the, the elf just laughs and, like, all right, let's go. Me about the bar, explain everything. Uh, oh, by the way, yeah, yeah, you, you, you have the potatoes, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, we would have probably. Yeah, you were you, you were probably the baked potatoes in my backpack. I mean, are you keeping them or did you give them the drudge? I give it to him. Oh yeah, I did give him the mash ones, didn't I? I'm not sure if I gave him the. No, uh, you guys have you guys uh, no, I haven't gotten them yet. I got them. Well, you actually did give it to him, but he was actually planned. Again, again, uh, last time he was actually planned to actually imbue a, a uh, charge of fireball into the mashed potato yeah, ball, that and, was and, like, and, and, and that was until you guys actually uh, no, were able to but uh, magic it down. Yeah, we magic it down, and I was still like, "Here's those potatoes you wanted." And so, did, did you just give him the baked potato? Um, I think I put that in my bag. I'm not sure if I gave it to him. Okay. Like, like he holds out the potato, but like, uh, he saw the baked potato, right? Well, regardless, yeah. like, come on, and, and Mia's back. <laughs> As you get closer and closer on, on, uh, to the, the Wandering Tavern, um, oh, uh, Julius, uh, make me a quick perception. Perception. Quick one. Uh, right there. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. You notice um a little bit of pulsing in, in, in your chest. I'm gonna take a quick quick 
looky loo. It's your holy symbol. The one given to you, given to you by that celestial. Pulsating, which means it's, uh, it was glowing. It was glowing a little bit though, but uh, as you get closer and closer to the tavern, it's glowing ever so brightly. Like not too bright, not too bright to blind you, but it's starting to not only glow a little brighter, but it's starting to pulsate. I'm just gonna say in my head, I wonder what I have to talk to. <sighs> when you're walking, uh, you, you caught up with an, um, um, a little bit with an, uh, with Ivan and his entourage, and you walk up the gangplank, and again, you are greeted on, uh, on, uh, by an, um, by Will Hart. Welcome to Oh Ivan! It's been such a long time. Like yes, yes, Will Hart, the usual, please. Of course, of course. Oh, hello, friends! Welcome back to the Moving Tavern. Hello. Hey. And uh, I'll just use this tavern music because it's it, it's still you're still a tavern. Fits. Uh, okay, there's I'll also back to normal since we're inside the tavern. Uh, I was just getting used to him being a dog. I don't have tavern audio. Shit. Eh, whatever. This is good enough. Sure. Alright, so uh, now you go inside and like, uh, and, um, and Ivan dresses you to, to a big round table on within the middle of the tavern. And everyone actually, and, um, oh, do you see this? No. Yeah, actually everyone gets worried out. Uh, not, not really worried out though. Yeah, it's a surprise. You, 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 see, you see not only the, the big bodyguard at, at the door, the, also, the two on uh, um, on uh, the Elven twins, uh, the Celestine and Philistine, and you also see a new um, uh, a new on, um, server, as you will. Uh, she gives out the, she gives she's giving off the aura of like an uh, um, I'm still a server like Celestine and Philistine, but also I'm also kind of in charge like uh, like Warheart. and it's like Warheart and uh, Warheart dear and and uh, two, uh, two, um. Uh, table three need, need some more ale. Oh, of course, my dear. Of course. And you see, uh, 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 he's still wearing the same outfit. I uh, kind of asked Saltine Fulton, only uh, a little bit more equipped to be uh, in charge. And and uh, it gives off a more elegant grace. And you see, and uh, basically, what you see wearing that outfit uh, on uh, 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 giving orders to uh, uh, Wolhart is uh, this drow lady. Uh, nice, beautiful silver hair. And you see her eyes, immaculate ponds of silver. Well like oh um oh hello welcome back to the moving tavern and um oh um Ivan hello dear the usual please and um if you will of course of course uh Woolhart I know I got it I got it so flag is up L for the party and for and for Ivan of course the adventure is special it's basically a uh, uh, suicide. I mix up a, a different, uh, um, I mix a different uh, alcohols because drinking it in, in, in itself is an is an, uh, an adventure. Mm. Is that also covered by the god of adventure? <laughs> sure, why not? Anyway, so and yeah, so he orders a, a round a round of uh, a plain ale for all of you guys, and. Meeting an, an um, uh, Julius, you look in your cloak, um, it's starting to pulsate faster and faster, just in this room alone. Take a quick look around, if I can. Should I roll another perception? No, go ahead. Okay. Nobody. The, o the only, the only, an, um... You know for sure with a perception check, it it it, it and um, writing some writing some quick math in your head, uh, math. Yeah, and, uh, it, it didn't start doing this. It, it, um, it, it didn't start doing the, doing this until right way after you met Ivan. So you know for sure it's not Ivan. You also for sure you know for sure it's not Drunge either, or his uh, um gonna create gun or or his uh, elf. It started doing like this because the fact that uh, the crew. Of the uh, movie tavern are here, Wolhart and uh, that un unnamed drow lady, 
the big uh, the, the 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 two twins and also the bodyguard because the only only pictures left besides you guys in your big table are the two adventurers uh, earlier the one that killed the black dragon is still here the re the, the merchants uh, are, are gone the um, the the uh, the mercenaries are gone and the um, the half dragon and the two dragonborns from the uh, the, the northern dragon kingdom are also gone so, something about the, this crew is um it, it is like uh, your patron wants you wants you to talk to them or meet them or something because yeah remember you're still under under the task of your patron uh, trying to uh, um reunite with the uh with the this the, the the scattered on on uh, luminate clergy okay sorry uh i just heard a beep Oh, is, was, it, is it your car? Alright. With him doing that, though, like, um, like, um, and he goes and picks up his drink, and Ivan goes, ah, uh, uh, spicy. Uh, what? Huh? What happened? Oh, sorry about that. Okay, uh, you're back? Yeah. Alright, so, um, well, did you get, did you get everything, or do you want me to repeat it? Um, I got to the part where he said that it was the crew that yeah. I might have to talk to. Yeah, because yeah, um, your patron actually said, told you, like, on, um, uh, I'll give you this power, you know, blah, 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 typical warlock stuff, but you must help me and my, go uh, and my god to run, uh, and, uh, reclaim the scattered uh, remains of the, of the Luminate clergy. And that's basically your your background mission, though. But uh, other, other than that, though, it's like you know, like adhere to my missions, you know, blah blah blah, normal warlock stuff, and and my power is yours. Power is yours. Yeah. A anything you want to do or before uh, uh, Ivan uh, uh, talks? Uh, I'll let him talk, and then I'll probably ask him something after. Right. And you, you all go walk around. Uh, the two paladins on on, on um, uh, are being gestured by by uh, by Ivan himself. Then the the, the, the the client saying, "No, we still have work to do." All right, but I will buy you a drink uh, later on once uh, your hours are done. Yes, Guildmaster. And they start w walking out, and uh, they start to you know guard basically the gangplank. And like he takes a sip of his drink. Ah. Spicy, salty, and creamy? Well, hard, my friend. You always tend to surprise me. Of course, of course. Again, these special drinks, though, are... Again, you're low on the orders, though, but again, an adventure of its own. Of course. It's still good, by the way. You always have a talent for, 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 for drinks. <laughs> And you see uh, Philistine and I uh, go behind that uh, uh, the, the counter and I uh, get ready some pots and pans. Oh, good. Um, and you see both Celestine and this unknown drow lady and I uh, go up to you and then, uh, uh, do you guys want anything to eat? To eat? I'm fine, thank you. Anything with fish if you have it. Oh, of course. Uh, uh Philistine, um. That weird turtle guy gave us some, uh, some fresh octopus. I can make, I make something with that. Are you fine with octopus? Turns you on that bast. Oh, sorry. My apologies. Uh, I, I, I got stuck reading something. My, I, can you repeat that? Uh, he, she, she, she said that I argue with octopus. Yes. Yes, Octopus will do fine. Thank you. All right, she gives on that scene the thumbs up, and she starts on uh, working. And how about you? And I listen to you, Julius. Take anything with uh, beef, and uh, what's your strongest drink? <laughs> looks back at, um... Looks back at Wolfheart. <laughs> Top shelf? Question mark. I'll just take the strongest thing you have. <laughs> All right, then. And uh, I haven't looked at you. I'm sorry, my friend, but uh, you, you get to go and pay for that one. 
like uh, my coffers are wide, but um, I can't spend spend it all one place. Um, I need to find an actual tab because I did, I did actually um, um, uh, bookmark um, um, this one website that has all the list of all these uh, fantasy and um, the, the drink names. I shall be right back. Okay, thank you, Chef. Ah, here we go. And and besides, besides the ale, and, uh, and uh, you all have, and, um, is there anything you want done? You want fast, or or is that it? No, that'll 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 do. And and Ivan goes like, you know, the the tells him, oh, oh, the usual dear. I'm like, oh, of course. And the and, um and goes to Drudge. Uh, and how about you? Um. Some whiskey, some whiskey, and, and um, do you have any donuts, uh, donuts left? Like, you see Frosty Nail in the background? No, but we have sweet rolls! I'll have, I'll have that. You don't want anything to eat, like actual food? Eh, I'm fine for now. Okay. And for you, dear? Um, you know that's not funny, every time you ask her. Oh, no, but it's funny for me. And she just leaves. And uh, Joyce, oh, uh, uh, Joyce, as she leaves, though, and, uh, and um, you, you know, so uh, you, someone was uh, was um, pulsating faster and faster. But once she starts leaving, though, it starts to the pulsating starts to slow down. That's the uh, drow. The, yeah, the drow lady. And uh, you, 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 yeah, which one? Which twenty though? You, you can tell that that each time either Wohart or her and uh, get close to your table. It starts pulsating faster and faster and glows ever so brightly, but then like each time each time you see an an uh, Phil scene go near you and, and then nothing changes. Each time you see Cell scene go near you, it pulsates faster but but doesn't go brighter. And same same with the guard. And uh, each time he goes near your table to actually and uh, walk around and do his rounds because you know there's still two other and um, two other um, uh, at, uh, two other customers in there besides you guys. You know, the, the previous two uh, adventurers who killed that black dragon. And each time he goes near the table, it pulsates faster, but, but not brighter. It's all brighter and faster uh, if you meet, uh, if either the Drow or Wolhart uh, goes near your table. Okay. And... Then I'll probably end up talking with the Drow lady. You want to do it now or like on a, uh, like right the right right this minute? No, or... no we, we eat and enjoy. Right. Back. Eat, drink, and be merry. Right. Uh, oh yeah. And, um, for um, uh, Bell Grieve, did you want anything to eat, or or you, or you, you were good, right? Uh, I'm good. So you just have ale. Uh, anything else you want to drink? Um, probably just water. Alright, and uh, she'll, 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 and, uh, she'll go and, uh, put, and the draw lady probably and, uh, and, um, comes over and, uh, with a little pitcher and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and like, uh, a glass and just pours you a glass of water. Here you go, dear. Thank you, madam. And, and uh, you, what, normally you're like, um, you know, your normal bro, bro green when it comes to strangers, though, but when you talk to this draw lady, you feel calm and... If it, it also feel like that you know known her for long for for long. It, it, that's how calm you are, and that's all how you how you feel. You you feel as though like an um, I, I can't I, I can't explain this feeling. Uh, besides that, like you know, like it's the same type of feeling like you known her for so long, but the like she's like some sort of caring mother figure. Is is that kind of feeling? Like you just feel calm around around her. Like and uh, she gives that 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 aura. And the fact, the fact that uh, and, uh, she she and um, calms you down with those silver silver and uh, um, nice silver eyes of hers, and just and uh, walks over, clicks and uh, uh, some tables, and uh, all right, so um, okay, so um, uh, you three um. Report as we wait for our food. 
We were uh, we were assigned a task task by a, uh, a turtle. Take care of these uh, these floating goblins, as it were, flying goblins, which I found unusual because I'd never heard of a flying goblin. Hmm. Indeed. I, uh, I, I got the report though, and like apparently that now these flying goblins were using their flight to easily swim through the waters and. Not only and I catch on some merfolk, some turtles, and catch their fish away from them, but also tormenting them and like, getting their supplies. Like um, I contacted the leader of the Sky Palace, uh, of the the Sky Fortress, to see if um, they're having um, uh, problems uh, as well, and um, thankfully it's not. So before they start again, I agreed to this place before it started a international incident. I want this to be done. Did, did they go go to this? What did you find as you were exploring these lands with this island? Floating balls of mashed potatoes. You see, drugs go. <coughs> uh, uh, continue. There was these pillars, old constructs, with them in the middle. Until, of course, we came to the big bad himself, uh, where I removed a baked potato, how ridiculous that sounds. But, afterwards, we were met with a horrible sight of a black ooze. Uh. Yes, it seemed, it seemed very content on, seemed very intent on getting to the, uh, those of the goblins that we had put down. Ah, uh, yes. The corruption. What what do you fellows, what do you uh, adventurers know about the uh, corruption? Only of what we have seen in battle, which is, it seems like it's hell-bent on getting to the corpses, but also fire seems to be something that can drive it back. Joyce, you, you, knew that, you also know that when you did Guiding Strike, uh, and, and also, uh, with the guy in strike, though, normally uh, if you hit it with fire or physical attacks, it'll try to stitch back together and, and, and uh, heal, up, heal up its form. Not its health, but you know, its form. You know, uh, uh, on above game, mostly. When you did guy in strike, it didn't, it, didn't it didn't stitch back together. It just oozed back together. Let's just say that the votive light really did a number on it. Uh, indeed, the holy light of the gods and uh, will tend to smite it down, while the physical mortal fire will also uh, drive it back. Combining the two, it was a sure victory against it. But there's only one clergy in the in, in the entire world that can do such a, that such a spell, low as it is, but it, uh, only they can do it. And they're gone now. Hmm. But perhaps not forgotten. No. No, of course not. Other than that, uh, um, Joyce, what, 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 much... Joyce, what's your per perception? Uh, I, I, again, now, this, this, this last time, I'll, I'll let your natural oh. 20 carry over. Uh, but it's, it, cause it, it still involves you. So with that, uh, uh, when he said that, that uh, the clergy is gone, is gone now, you see both uh, um, uh, 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 off of the edge of your eye, uh, off, the, off your peripheral, uh, the, the drow lady and Walhart look at each other with solemn faces and just go back to go back to their uh, um, work. Um. AC Ward, I I'm sorry to interrupt your composition though, but um, you said you wanted strong, so um, how strong are we talking? Dwarven or dragon? Uh, I usually just go with the strongest thing available, but maybe I'll temper myself with, uh, let's say Dwarven. He brings you a top of the shelf bottle, and is normally, uh, and brings you this immaculate glass. 
and it has a symbol of the flag, of the flag island all over the top of the Here you go, top the line, Dwarven Rum. How and, much do I owe for this? Well, do you want to, do you want to, you want to keep the bottle or because I trust I trust for a shot. Uh, unless you want to buy the bottle. Just the shot. One sh one shot. Now ah, for you, ten gold. For 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 liquor that that actually is kind of expensive for a shot, it, it, it basically it equates to it, it basically it equates to a feeling of paying ten bucks for a shot. I'm gonna say it's reasonable, anyways. Yeah. And I'm gonna hand over the ten gold. Do you take a shot of the of dwarven rum? Yep. Roll me a con a con saving throw. Ooh, lad. Oh, here it comes. Okay, not bad. Huh. It burns like you're drinking fire. It hits you like a slap in the face, and you immediately feel it. You're not, you're not, uh, not um, that. Oh no, that, that's a constitution check. I said saving throw. Oh, sorry. Is it saving throw? Uh, yeah, I don't know what saving throw. Which one is the saving throw? Oh, right here. Okay. My bad. Oof. <laughs> oh, even, you probably should have just left them with the constitution. It's fine, it's fine. It's the same narrative. So it is strong. It burns as you take it from the first shot from your mouth all the way down from your esophagus to your stomach. It hits you like a bag of bricks and a slap to the face. You feel it. You are immediately drunk. And the fact that... Um, if you didn't steer yourself, steer yourself uh, pre 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 because you know how strong this is, you will you will just knocked out. <laughs> As I flip the shot glass over, Whoa. oh, that is some good, good liquor. Uh, and you see, and uh, Barry go like, the dwarves tend to make strong liquor. Uh, I can feel it pulsating in my bones. And with that, though, and, and, uh, and then before we begin finish the conversation, the each of you, and uh, both the uh, drow lady and um, Celestine, and uh, goes and gives you and, uh, your your food and drink. And so, um, you, um, uh, Julius, what, what did you say you wanted again for your food? I was just content with anything beef related. Okay, so you you, you got like a nice grilled but uh, beef tenderloin. With a side pad of but uh, 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 um, of butter. Mm. Ah. Gonna let that butter melt on there real quick. And, and uh, I remember I was I had been given and uh, um, um, uh, his usual uh, uh, mashed potatoes with uh, 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 and a uh, nice grill, uh, grilled steak, medium rare, and uh, some and some butter garlic on uh, just drizzling uh, on top of it. And for you. Um, um, Bast. Mm. Uh, you were you were given this by by Philstein herself, uh, the the chef, and like sorry, I I wanted to experiment a little bit. I, I hope you like it. And he she gives you these a plate of these individual balls, sauce on top, and these flakes that seem to dance in the steam. Um, above above no. game above above game she gave she gave me ta takoyaki. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Only Gary is the rice balls. Yeah, yeah. my bad. All right, I'm gonna just take one tentatively pop it in my mouth to taste. It, the flavor itself just bursts into your mouth. The flakes and uh, is a bit crunchy. The f the floods. Uh, I assume you ate takoyaki. Yeah, I've had takoyaki. Yeah, before. so like a uh, yeah, so like a, the sauce That's itself is like, is like savory and salty. You feel you see you you feel the taste of the of the batter itself, the flavor and and uh, of it, and then you chew inside of it the tentacle uh, uh, of the octopus itself. It's a nice meaty chunk, and this is a whole entire plate though. Cause she 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 basically worked the entire octopus. Minus the head and body, into uh, into these takoyaki balls. It's like a whole plateful, not just on a six or six or twelve. Hmm. Hmm. Just and, like eating at home. Yeah. This uh, is amazing. Yeah. The t the 
it reminds you of home with the, the with the octopus, but how you're eating it, like in these little ball forms, is new to you. Like, it, but it it just tastes right. And, oh yeah, no, I can't figure that much. I'm just talking about how like the tentacle meat. Yeah. Like oh uh, 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 oh thank you. I ever since we went to uh, uh, to uh, uh, the Phoenix Empire, I always wanted to try this recipe out. Delicious, and he can go pop another one in his mouth and just sit there, just go. Mm. The, this popable just uh, just bursts into your mouth with flavor and texture. Mm. Oh. Mm. Delicious. Thank you. This is this is incredible. You're welcome. And Felsing just said uh, that kind of happily just uh, strides back, strides back to, uh, uh, in, in, into the kitchen. And as I... as uh, uh, Bre Ivan Bread was eating, why a big potato? Hmm? And I'm not too sure of either. <laughs> you see Drudge visibly, uh, nervously sweats. Does the goblin know something? Uh huh. Some type of uh. Are you related to them, the Spuds? Okay, funny story. Low side project. You would know what the side project is. Yes. Go on. Okay, so I'll try to create a uh, a self-sustaining. Power source, if you will. A combination of both science and magic. You know, an artifice. You, you know what the what, 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 what the artifice is. And, well, I... I tried to create a, a more sustain, a self-sustaining... Well, I use that term loosely. A more longer-running form of power that will keep the islands afloat. Because uh, 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 the only one, the, like if you if you know us, the only islands that actually stay afloat for uh, nearly forever are the natural occurring ones, because of the war. And you already know Sabatio is not natural occurring. So I thought, yeah, maybe I tr try to mimic that, and and with, with this, unfortunately at the time I didn't have any crystals to work with, so I had to use my lunch. So you made the little pla uh, little uh, little uh, platforms or uh, pillars then. The 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 pillar in the center and the platforms are meant as a conduit to spread the power of levitation throughout the entire island. You used the potatoes. I actually no, that's all new. The potatoes apparently and uh, not, not only were were an, um imbued with both uh, uh, levitation and abjuration magic, which explained the little barrier they, they had set up. But the main potato itself was also imbued with uh, the strong abjuration magic, though, because it, it held back the corruption, which I didn't know was on the island. Like, and, and, um, and uh, I was like, yes, I, um, that's also new news to me as well. Well, anyway... When I first imbued this potato, this, my my lunch was just a simple big potato, with levitation magic. I I thought that'd be it, but no, it, it didn't start levitating or, or anything. So it's like, ah, fuck it. So I just left I left my table, and and the pedestals here, and went to Sabatio, get some more money so I could buy an actual magic crystals to form into some sort of conduit enough for to make the my experiment work. But by the time I got back, it was full of these go full of those goblins. Took over. And I was surprised as you were when they started flying. And he looks over at the, uh, at the, at the, at the, at the potato. Yeah, it seems as though um, a lot of them have been eating my experiment. Well, apparently it needs salt. Oh, yeah, it's a potato. And I'm gonna lean over to Bass, and I'm gonna elbow him. I hit him with the Cajun spike. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. and so and, and anyway, it's like, well, explain the flying goblins, and 
uh, itself. Like, did we eating the, pota- uh, the the potatoes? No, no. It seems like the potato balls you've been acquiring don't on um the the smaller ones that have been eating those. While the more higher ups, mainly the leader, uh, had uh, ate the big potato. Apparently, the big potato is very too strong for any goblin, so they lowered it by by diluting um. The magic by mash- by getting a piece of the meat potato and putting it into the- these potato balls, which will explain the pile of potatoes next to my next to my um work table. As as he drudge uh, and just shakes his head, just scr- 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 scratches his head. <laughs> okay, so that's his work table in the cave then. Okay. Yes, but the the potato the the potatoes itself are new. So, for what what he's explaining though is that um, the leader itself ate from the main main bo- the main big big potato. That's why he was able to masterfully levitate and fly, while the lower ones who were fighting, the ones that they can only levitate levitate that fly, or try to fly, were the ones who ate from the from the potato balls, which is which is which is which is which is, which is an, uh, a diluted an, an, a levitation magic. Which what they do is that uh, they'll get the potatoes, throw it into my, my mashed potato ball, and imbue, imbue, imbue into it an, a piece of the main of the, of the main main big, big potato that had the main en- enchantment. That's all. Oh. I guess everything's all right then. Is it? Oh, that's you mean to good. tell me we went on a quest for someone's lunch? <laughs> and Drudge, Drudge goes, if, put it, if you put it that way, yes. <laughs> kind of funny, kind of, kind, of, kind of funny if you think about it. We also stopped them from attacking the sea life. Well, what's left of it? Hmm. Yeah, Joyce, Joyce, you're still like drunk. Like, you're you're heavily drunk right now. I want to, I want to see like a, yeah I want, I want to see because of this though like I, 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 on, uh, if you don't mind me doing this I'll give you like a if I follow out on um I follow out on a drunk debuff. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, so on um dexter a, a, any dexterity a, any dexterity skills is a minus two, but any charisma skills uh, is a plus two. Obvious reasons. Yeah. Obvious reasons. Obvious. Obvious reasons are obvious. Yeah. So and until you get long, until you get your long rest or until a couple of hours pass, you uh, you had you had, you had that little drunken debuff. <laughs> One drunk boy. So drunge, are you able to finish? Yeah, yeah. I got I got some more crystals. I got from that ass. Freaking Valon Blade. Uh, I just need to imbue them with the uh, with the uh, not only the abjuration magic to keep itself from exploding, and the levitation magic though, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this island will fly. Good. How long will that take? Eh, a couple of weeks. But uh, hopefully the my hopefully my new um, kingdom would help me. Your what? The goblins think I'm the leader now. Oh joy! I was trying to have them be more independent, but you know, like you, like Ivan, Ivan Sweeney. There's no goblin like me. We well, never maybe have you can train like them to be like you now. He looks at you, Julius, going like, "Do you ask the gods for miracles?" Once in a while, do the answer yes. <laughs> Look, I I became this smart because of happenstance. But if I can teach them, maybe it will happen. Uh, but I, I, again, I, I, I hold that I hold, I hold miracles to gods rather than commoners like me. As then uh, he goes into takes his, his uh, shot of whiskey. Ah, oh, I did that. And I'm like, with that said, with everything said and done, I t- uh, um, I will talk with uh, Woolhart and we'll give you a ride back to Summit TL. 
But and, and until then, enjoy your laurels, take your rest, and we'll, we'll meet back uh, again within. I have a special surprise for you, for you three. As Ivan uh, just walks off and um, just converses with uh, his uh, uh, converses with the the two uh, uh, paladins of, of Galvanus outside. I'm going to. I'm gonna try to uh, talk to the drow. Alright, hey, sure thing. You go in there. You go up to her. You're like, oh, hello. Um, how can I, um, how can I help you? I'm a little drunk, but I'd like to chat with you. You um, you you're preoccupied with this, so like I want to say, about grieve and or bat. Uh, about grieve and bast. Uh, roll me a, a quick perception. Right, quick perception. Oh, yes, negative one. Why? Dude, I can't win. 16 with a negative one. Crazy. Uh, I rolled another two, I think. Bell Grieve, and uh, you're too back going like. You still wrap your mind because then uh, you you still rep, you're a simple you're a simple child, right? So this all the science. I'm still, and, I'm still thinking about the potatoes. Yeah. And why they were powering the island? Yeah. So you you, you, you so you know the fact that the fact that then he's gonna replace the potatoes with crystals. So we're like, why potatoes? Why would the potato give you flight? Why? Not to think about it. <laughs> like uh, Bastinar, you you see this plan as day. You see that um, the moment he stumbles, does not try to talk with the uh, the drow lady. You see the bodyguard uh, tenses up, about to re reach for his, for his sword on uh, 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 about to reach his sword on uh, 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 himself. And then you also caught this. You also caught this as uh, the the drow just raises her hand up and saying no. Uh, 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 missing. No, uh, I'll take care of it. Uh, yes, how can I help you? I noticed that uh, when he was talking, I'm going to lean in. Like, close him up. I heard... I, I saw you at the corner of my eye when he mentioned a specific group. And uh, anno annoying mostly on what you're saying because you're drunk, um... And like basically saying, um, sir, I give you two options. I I I give you, um, I give you two options. Either you stay like this and sit down a bit and you know sober up, or he she brings like a little glowy finger to you. I or I, I can make you not drunk right now. Magic finger. It's only a finger. <laughs> it's only a finger. <laughs> Alright, well, um... She's right, giving you a choice. Oh, Alright, then, so you lose your drunken status of plus two charisma. So she, uh, boops you on the forehead. She basically casts it on, on uh, lesser restoration to you. So you're, 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 no, you're no longer drunk. And gold, but that was fine. Fascinating. Alright, there we go. Uh, Bast and Bell, uh, I, I, know, I know Bell grieves in his own mind thinking about potatoes. Uh, Bast, are you, are you paying, are you paying, paying attention to this? Oh yeah, no, I'm watching it. Uh, Bast is watching it mostly because he's worried that his compatriot might do, might get involved in something that will get him attacked, but also he's kind of interested as he's unsure if this is what a land dweller's mating ritual looks like. So he's even more confused. He's just like, interesting. So the woman, the woman bops the man on the forehead, and he immediately becomes level-headed and clear-thinking. Hmm. And like, there you go. You're no longer drunk. But before I continue on, and um, just to spur any bad feelings, I'm I, I'm already married. I didn't ask anything of the sort. Okay, I good, because I'm. Okay, good, because uh, you you would have been my my, my uh, fourteenth customer to ask me about that. Still didn't ask her about but that. I still really. didn't ask that. What I did ask, however, is about a specific group. Uh, what group are you talking about? One of uh, sacred light. I noticed that when uh, 
Is it Ivan? I think is his name, right? Yeah. Ivan, Ivan Brentwood. Ivan. You and uh, the other those gentlemen had a somber look on your face. I have no idea what, what, what you're talking about. Are they? Can I roll something to see if it's bullshit? Roll insight to see if she's lying. Oof. Roll X to oh. Jeff. Oh god. Oh, she is lying. I'm on a roll today. <laughs> she is lying. Hey, I was there too. I rolled the 16. <laughs> It's insight check. Yeah, sure, I'll roll. Um, are you paying? I, I, no, I, I, no, because you, you're not paying to pay attention to this at all. You, you, you're paying attention to, well, to, to no, potatoes. I, I, I'm, I'm literally still pondering on why potatoes. Yeah. So yeah. So I, my character is thinking of every other root vegetable that would have been better. <laughs> I'm a philosophy major. It's like war <laughs> Our steps would have been better. Rude a I sh I sugar content. But yeah, so with the insight though, you can tell that she's lying, but that she's lying for a good she's probably lying for a good reason, you can't tell. You have somewhere private that we could speak. Make me a yeah, make me a persuasion check. Alright, luck, let's see if you hold out. Mm. 14 still not bad. Mattress, aggressor wins. <laughs> so, like, she whispers to your ear. This will also include my husband. Wait, what did what'd she say? Like, like she, she said, and um, she says, pretty whispers to your ear. This will also include my hus husband, just like you know. Alright, well, he's invited if he wishes. He can watch. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Philistine, you're in charge. Uh, Celestine, you, and, um, you help them with your drinks. And he goes over to the guard, just n nods. Like a very slow summer nod, and um, the guard just nods as well. As um, he goes to, uh, go over to, uh, over to, and, um, and, well, he just goes like, it's like, well, heart, dude, do you have a private chamber? Uh, yes, um, over here, follow me! And you go up the stairs, basically. And into... Um, hold on, I can hear myself. Probably on one of their ends. My headphones on. Happen? I can hear myself. No, no. Alright, well, anyway. Yeah, so, he and the uh, and... Basically leads you uh, in privately and uh, up to the set of stairs into this private chamber. It, it's a relatively in a big room, and you are currently alone with uh, Woolhart and his unknown draw lady. Hmm. All right. Uh, and, and, and it's like since you since you pulled me over from the bar, that means it's something important. Or, uh, all right, lad, and uh, speak your mind. I noticed that when Ivan was here and he spoke of a specific group, that you and her shared a glance. I also know many other things about this, but I want to know what is your thoughts on Lumina? Lumine? Or Lumine, sorry. I have it written wrong. I don't have a music for this one. Shit. Hey, there we go. I, uh, 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 just play the entire B movie behind it. Hold on. All right. Good enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's all like a uh, creaking ship, so it's like good enough. No. Oh. Like. It's like actual 
shoulders. And you see her and, and, and I get her uh, uh, through a sword. Same with, same with, um, same with, with Wilhart. Depending on, depending on what you, what you say next. Is whether you leave here dead or alive. Choose your words carefully. See, I came in with two adventurers. Are you going to kill them as well if this goes poorly? This is why we also put you in a private chamber. We'll just say something happened to you. Again, choose your words carefully. I don't show many people this. In fact, I haven't shown it to pretty much anyone. Stay your sword. And I reach in slowly into my, uh, where I keep my, uh, jewelry here, and I slowly pull it out. And you show oh, off yeah. this, uh, pulsating, glowing, and, uh, holy symbol of Lumine. Mm -hmm. And you, 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 and you, you see this, though, you see, like, <sighs> okay, well, Hart, he's not here to kill us. And well, Hart, and, and um... Both her and Wilhart and, uh, and uh, um, cast away their, their glowing swords, and Wilhart's still block blocking the, the door, though. And what what she does, though, she like she waves her hand on, on, on in front of it, and the, the glowing stops. All right, that would get annoying, but and when you look at it closely, though, this is not made by any earthly metal. This is like made of some some sort of weird Im immaculate porcelain. It makes sense because it's given to you by uh, a celestial. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I don't wish you harm. In fact, I want some the exact opposite. You to wish me harm. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> me. Julius is a sadist. <laughs> what do you know about Luminae? And you see Wart, oh, sweet child, tell me, what do you know, what to know about Luminae? Well, I'm on a quest. I owe everything to Luminae. Uh, I wish to reform the remnants. And bring back that holy light into the mainstream. You're on you're on a quest. I'm guessing it's one of the celestials put you up to it. Can't yeah. say can't, can't say I agree. But then again that then, then again the then again Lumi this is how Lumine is at times. Lad, you're you you and I are on the same quest as well. Well, technically speaking, but we don't know who we can trust. Very hard these days. We, our clergy fell, literally one night, our numbers to tens of thousands. Now down to six, eight of us. And that, that's not including us, dear. Those are the worshippers, the acolytes, paladins, cl cl clerics. Those are who are left, on, uh, dear. And especially we, me, my wife, cannot show, reveal to anyone who we are. Especially us. Death sentence, if you did. More than you think. You see, we are not easily killed. But we can still die. But we're not easily killed. Tell me. How does, uh, go ahead. How does that work? She gives a little smile. She gives a little smile. Tell me. What do you know the relationships between the clergies and their gods? I'm not a, a cleric myself. I don't know much 
about uh, the clergy, and I don't know much of the downfall of said clergy. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just giving you a broad, uh, a broad uh, question. What do you know about gods and their respective clergies? Would I... Is there like a special type of thing that I would know, or because I, I don't... um roll me a quick a quick uh, either religion or uh, arcana check. Boy, uh... <laughs> oh you, mm. oh you dum dums are getting exercise now. Oh yeah, it's fucking bad. I have <laughs> the same amount in both fucking zero. <laughs> uh, at least not get one. Oh, you, you you just know the. Um... You just know the, the normal thing, like, and, um, pal but for the most part, paladins and clerics get, and, uh, they get their, receive their power and magic from their gods. That, 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 that's all you know. I know as much as, uh, the next person, I guess. The very basics. Has to assume you know that pal both paladins and clerics they tend to draw their power, unique power from the gods they worship. Paladins via their oath, clerics via their faith. And yeah, with that you you would know. So, lad, are you a cleric or a paladin? Let's just say that I have neither oath nor. Uh, what'd you say for the cleric? Faith. Faith. Of that kind. You're an acolyte. But you see power. Ah! You made a contract with a celestial, haven't you? Celestial? Illuminate herself. Right under, and he... <laughs> he has really... Really saved my family and myself. I owe yeah. everything to Illuminate. That reminds me of the, so basically you're, for a broad term, you're basically uh, one of them celestial warlocks. So think of it, think of it this way. Here's how the system works between us gods and you mortals. The magic you wield, that's you. And she puts it to you, and she's jamming, jamming your chest. But not hard, just enough to prove the proof point. You are a mortal. The celestial. You, you are mortal, basically the clergy itself. The cel your celestial patron, the one you made a contract with. Think of it as a god. But now tell me, how does a god... Well, how will a god bestow power to the clergy itself without harming the mortal? And she slowly points towards your arcane focus. You would need a middle ground. Something to help ease up and redistribute the magic uh, safely. Wait most of the time. And and with that uh, and, and with that um and and and, it's like a, and yes. For the broader term and uh, going off on another topic, though, tell me, what happens when? Tell me, you tell me what happens on um, in, in the what happens when a god dies? I assume that all the power that the god had is gone. E exactly. So of course that uh, the gods made a way to use their little middle ground to help replace them immediately in case something bad happens. And you see Wilhard uh, not block the door anymore, goes uh, goes next to her, get next next to his wife. My friend, yeah, you, you didn't find a paladin or a cleric. You found something bigger than that. You have found. And Lutna no, no, turn, turns to turns to the drow. Just just gives him gives him a nod. What the hell? That's uh. So yeah. yeah, and like you're you're looking at the two conduits of of Lumine, and roll me a 
a religion check with advantage on on uh, about that. When he said condiments of Lumine. Religion. <laughs> oh my god! What are these rolls, dude? You were rolling good and now you're just rolling junk. Double nines, <laughs> du double sixes. These dice are rigged. You give a a, a a confused look to them. Remember what we talked about earlier? The middle ground. Basically, the us conduits are devised, chosen by the gods themselves, given immortality, and high uh, high amounts of godly energy, more so than any god or paladin. And and we are uh, uh, starting to distribute this magic again to paladins and clerics all over our clergy. Some gods become so so powerful that they need two. One one for paladins, and one for clerics. And thus, and and thus and thus, uh, and real to you, we are conduits of Lumine. My real name is Raina Proudmore. My real name is L Lunwa Sophis. And they both say at the same time, pal uh, not conduits for the goddess Lumine. And you see, you got, and you see for a split second, uh, a shining on uh, a bright halo uh, appear appear behind their backs. Then I have found the right people. Then. Indeed, you have. She waves over. Uh, she waves again over your uh, your um, uh, your holy symbol, and uh, it starts, starts starts flashing again. But we'll, unfortunately, we have our own mission. It will not aid you on uh, on um, occurring yours. We have our own way to get back our shattered clergy. In fact, we, we met a party and uh, that's helping uh, helping us with that. Really? Yes. It's um a very it gets us of uh, this, this like a, this very tired human this foul mouth cat person and so, uh, and a and a dogkin. <laughs> Hold up, above game is that the other campaign? <laughs> yes. That that's the main that's the main campaign. <laughs> because of them I was because of them I was free and we have a chance to actually Rebuild the base of our of our clergy. I couldn't be happier. I got reunited with my wife, and my and then fellow conduit. As conduits, at times when we feel like I'm about to retire, we give on our power and role to an, to another. We don't know what happened to our clergy that night, but it was a night when we were the we were at our weakest. We were about to transfer our role to another. The transfer didn't happen well. And overnight, our entire clergy went up in smoke. A lot of, a lot of them dead. But the candidates for our transfer are still here. One of them is that is the, is, is our guard standing, standing in front. The other... She motions over, pushes a button, and behind a uh, behind a wall moves up, and you see this beautiful blonde haired elf woman, sealed in in a crystal, just lying on the floor. It's her. She's stable now, but we still need to find a way to actually unseal her. Once that happens, we can begin rebuilding the clergy. And she puts a nut button, and 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 uh, the wall just goes back down. What happened to that one? Unfortunately, I was. Unfortunately, my husband and I weren't there when that happened. The only one, the only one that was, was the um, our guard. About a million Proudmore. Well, both the transfer didn't happen cleanly. Our immortality as shared. All four of us are immortal, but yet only us two are our conduits. And you've kept it a secret this whole time. Again, we don't know who who to trust. We don't know if like the perpetrators of the said massacre is still out there. We don't know if it's mercenaries 
We don't know if if it's the cult of Penumbras, or we don't know if it's our own clergyman who turned against us. It, it also could be radicals from the Libertarian clergy. That could also be an option. Showing you this, we trust you. Make sure this secret is kept safe. Secret for all they know, for all they know, Rhino Proudmore and Lunwa Sophus is dead or missing. And outside there, we're not the conduits, we're just no a normal normal bartender and wife. Outside there, I'm not Reiner, I am Wohart. Shed a lot of knowledge onto me. But Why? I doubt you know anyone else who could help in this endeavor. If we need help on learning with the clergy, don't and don't bother ask and um um we need help with learning with the clergy and uh, we don't you guys come back and ask us. We're more than happy to help. Yeah. I, I mean basically and um and I mean basically yes. <laughs> uh, but basically us conduits are basically done uh, demigods. And, and uh, you see, uh, you see her just jab on uh, on uh, on uh, um, Reiner and and, and the gun. Oh, I was just joking, seriously. I guess in a sense you are. Is all you, is all you need to know? Could you possibly point me into the right direction of anyone else? Unfortunately, we don't know. All, all we could tell you are we saw two other individuals. From our from our closure though, he went they went on on um I'm surprised I'm surprised they they still haven't uh died yet. But there's an orc who rides a bear. He's another another paladin another paladin, paladin of mine. And a blonde haired woman, human. She's also an a cleric of, uh, on uh, of mine. They're out there adventuring. Again, I don't know how they're staying alive. I guess they found friends who they can trust. Friends are hard to come by when... <laughs> Above game, that's the one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, uh, Above game, that was, that was one shot that... Um, that uh, Sora, Jared, and Hillary and Negi did. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't remember that at all in the one shot. Yeah, like, uh, no, no, yeah, and, not the one shot I was in. Yeah, the the and the, and the one shot that they were playing as premates. So Jared was playing as an orc, an orc or paladin, um, and Negi was playing as, as a human a human cleric, and Sora was, was playing as a dragon a dragonborn sorcerer. Yeah. They came. They came into my tavern uh, with this with this little piece, and he holds up uh, a piece a piece of, of a bottle. Apparently, if you find all the pieces, certified by by us conduits, it can re reveal to you a um, I don't know, some sort of genie. Oh, well, I mean, I certified it though, but uh, the other three pieces, I, I don't know where they are now. Anyway, uh, is there anything else we we have to run and uh, talk about uh, talk about uh, uh, go back to uh, to the the main lobby? Well, that is uh, that's quite a. Quite a bombshell that has fallen into my lap. I'm just glad that you two are someone that I can trust. Exactly. My lead. Yeah. All right then. And while they're having this conversation, though, like um, Belgrieve and, uh, and and Bast, is there anything you want to talk about while they're having that uh, that little bombshell of, of a revelation? Still considering why they, he didn't use parsnips instead of potatoes. <laughs> I've been back there for even rutabagas. Does does normal land does normal land mating rituals involve three people normally? I do not know of such rituals. Mm. They Most of the time, there is only two partners. Hmm. They have been back there for a while. You would think that it would not take this long for him to fertilize her eggs. 
Especially given that there's two males, so I assume there's more fertilization. <laughs> hmm. And then he's just gonna eat another octopus ball. Sorry, I'm just laughing at the meme that Sushi put up where it's like Julius at the end of this campaign. Yeah, dude, Julius is just gonna become Super Pope and he's gonna fly around <laughs> using shooting holy beans out of his fingertips. I knew it. It's gonna happen. It's like, it's, it's like, um, the, it's like the Flying Nun on a uh, series, but instead of being a nun, it's Pope. Mm hmm. Yeah, Super Pope. Sure. At least I'm the Pope because I'm like, I feel like uh, Roy's character is just gonna become the Pope of the church. <laughs> I mean, at, 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 at least at least he's not not that evil pope from uh, from uh, from Final Fantasy fourteen. True. I, I mean, he could be. He has a little demon as like his companion. One of these days, I'm gonna snap. And... Yeah, he's just gonna start. He's just gonna snap. Like, and he's gonna start blasting with his holy beam powers. Yeah, attack you, attack you, and then Spencer goes like, "No powers for you. Bye." Oh. What is? When is somebody gonna be a uh, warlock Oprah and just be like when they cast the Eldritch Blast at uh, at their higher levels? You get an Eldritch Blast and you get an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess in the end, the awkward conversation uh, and uh, um um happens to pass by. I mean, like the drone is also there, they're also there with you, along with his amunculus. Well, how come he hasn't answered my question? I feel like he would know. <laughs> Much more about land dwelling uh, fornication. I mean, did you ask him about it personally? Because yeah, you turned him. You mostly start talking to with, with Bell Grieve. No, but I figured he would butt in about anything sexual related. <laughs> no, he's allowing you to have your 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 uh, your, um, uh, your, your innocent idiocy. He's allowing you to have your innocent idiocy. That, that's oh. how that, that, that's how much of an ass he is. Eh, well. No, he's just he's just laughing. He's just smirking and laughing while you're talking about this. Or snips. I mean, do you ask him? Do you ask him yourself? He just no, laughing at you. I'm just gonna I'm gonna let him have his fun at my expense. <laughs> Alright, so I, I, I why why the goblin didn't just use parsnips? Right. Easier vegetable. He tried to tell it to you, cause I don't. What? I mean, who who eats a raw pasta ball by itself? Many people do. Yeah. Did you not grow up in the woods? No, I grew up in a village. Strange. Do people that grow up in woods eat parsnips? If Just you find them in the wild, yes. Hmm. I guess that's so different from my, from where I come from. We would occasionally just chew on seaweed. We also ate whatever we could catch. We said we said wild parsnips. I immediately thought of uh, of um a Stardew Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, say Phineas and Ferb. Why? Because Candace has an allergic reaction to wild parsnips. Oh, you're right. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Just Noah right off the top of his head. All right, so anyway, so it I, comes up more times than it should, in all honesty. And so after a, 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 like a good half a half hour later, and I see an um, you see the an uh, 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 unknown drow lady, um, Warheart and um, and Julius, and just and uh, and um, walking back and uh, just having a you know like um. A nice, uh, calming, uh, side conversation, you know, like, a, a, all casual. Like, and so you tell me that, um, you just flicked your hair and that they, start, they started to fall over, swinging at you? Uh, it is a curse, I have to say. <laughs> the curse of all men, right, honey? Oh, you. Did you know that that, uh, he tried to sweep me off my feet, literally, in, uh, in, 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 uh, in the middle of a field? I know uh, more than one person who would take that as literal. As I look over towards the table. I look to uh, on my merfolk friend here. It seems they had the coitus. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna look over at them octopus ball in mouth. You see this? How, how did the spawning go? You see Drudge just fall back on his chair laughing on the ground. <laughs> I can't, I can't take it. <laughs> Just, he's just 
laughing and laughing out loud on the floor right now. I think we broke him. <laughs> Maybe a parsnip would help him. Hmm. Do, do you have a parsnip? No, but maybe this bar does. I'll call over one of the waiters and ask if they have anything with parsnips in it. It's so seen that actually goes to you. Oh, hi. Excuse me, madam. Do you have anything with parsnips? Like a soup, perhaps? Um... Uh... The first thing that goes, go, go, uh, goes up in the kitchen. I have parsnips, but we have plenty of rutabagas. I, I mean, like, we can make you a, 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 a rutabaga pie. It would be lovely. Are we, wait, are we going to hit him with it? That's for the punchline, my friend. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> Bass in your mind is like, what is this line, and how do I punch it? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's been studying the subtleties of comedy. He just doesn't understand how it works. He knows that sometimes slapstick works and sometimes slapstick gets you screamed at for nine minutes. By the minutes. way, above game, stale cookie crisps suck. <laughs> okay! <laughs> stale? Like, eating, like, I want something sugary, so... My sister came over and she was like, oh, here, we have cookie crisps. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I opened them up. They weren't even open, but they're stale and they're like... Also, I don't remember them being this sweet. Man, the texture is awful. Well, still, anything, it sucks. I mean, certain stale cereal is okay, though. Like, I, I have, like, a stale box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And that's, like, not terrible. Does it have... Like, it's a little yeah, soft. Really weird. Does it have... Shim like, not, not bad. Does it have shrimp tails? Maybe. God damn it! You heard about that too. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, they will not let up on that because because uh, uh, the company tried to downplay the shrimp tails as sugar clusters. Heck yeah, brother! Oh, sugar should have just said they were prizes. <laughs> <laughs> it would have worked out for them better. Jesus. So, anyways, yeah. So like um, <sighs> and you 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 get, you, you get back though, and Julius, you see Drunge just laughing. Rolling on the, on the floor laughing, literally. You can see that you have broken him. I'm We've going to no see if a rutabaga pie would help him. We're gonna punch a line. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> and how was everyone's meal? Delicious. I was still pondering on why the man did not use... Parsnips instead of potatoes. And did you ever come to a uh, conclusion on that line of thought? No. He said, "Who eats wild parsnips raw?" Then we also pondered about how spawning was going with you and them. Did you have coitus? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Please stop! <laughs> Casually brush that off. <laughs> so, did you both take turns fertilizing the eggs, or is it like a like a one-on-one -on -one thing? I'm not fond of your mating rituals, man. But to each their own. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Please stop! Please stop! I can't handle this much idiocy. <laughs> Let's just say that they're good people. Leave it at that. But as in alignment, is or good as in their genetics are perfect for being passed on? No more talk of coitus or spawning. The but what about the parts? Smashing property and whopping norb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not womp norb. Like, oh, I, want right. to be, I want that to be a euphemism now for when people spank their monkey. It's like they're wa they're whomping norbs. Uh. Like, all right, all right, um, we got we got pie is done, and 
this is surprising. Actually, surprising, surprising. You know that Drudge is on the left, and uh, as Celestine Sel- comes up with, with a nice hot pie kind of a right, you see Drudge appear out of nowhere next to Celestine. Ooh, pie! Okay, madam. Can you slam it in his face for me? Um, uh, it's a hot pie, so no. But he's mm. the one that wanted it. Also, this has all the formulaic setups of a uh, comedic moment, as it were. Oh, uh, I heard for that that that, that kind of thing. You use a um, empty pie empty pie tin with lots and lots of whipped cream. Apparently, the um, the bar the bar college of laughs and always use that. I don't look, get it. And you look down and you see a slice of pie that already been taken taken care of. And you see immediately on the left, and uh, you, you didn't even see him move, but move back to his chair. He's sitting down eating, eating pie. Mm, Philistine, this is a, this is a good pie. Actually, Celestine baked it. Oh, that's why, right. Celestine, sweetie, your your skills are getting better with sweets. Oh, thank you. I guess we should just have a slice of pie then. Indeed, perhaps it'll help us come to a correlation as to why goblins seem to like root vegetables. Um, I'm still surprised that he did not use carrots. They are a more common vegetable than potatoes. At that point, Dredge just ignores you about why he used his his lunch at uh, no, rather than any other root, root vegetable. He's just enjoying this nice root, 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 root bag pie, which, above game, I never, I never actually had root bag pie before. Nor have I. Sounds good, though. Sounds like a savory pie. Rooted. I've had meat pie before. Rudy Baker. From Rudy Baker Pie. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rudy Baker Pie. No, wait. It, it is some kind of sweet pie, right? Because I think they do make that. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, it's it's similar to when they're making uh, a sweet a sweet pie uh, 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 out of, like, out of a pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. It's uh okay. So greens are two large eggs and a one. Oh, thanks. One medium uh, whipping cream, two tablespoons of honey, two cup cooks of mashed rutabaga, uh, light brown sugar, ground ginger, freshly grated nutmeg, ground coriander, salt, and also a pie shell. Coriander. Coriander. Yeah, so it, 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 it's, sim- it's similar. To, it's it basically similar to how they make an, um, a pumpkin pie. And it's also, apparently, the taste of rutabaga is crunchy and quite mild. This person says that roasted rutabaga reminds them of cauliflower, with a light turnip flavor. Mmm. Well then. Yeah, so I got... It's, but, 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 it's savory sweet with some bitter notes. Yeah, so if it's, if it's anything like a, pump, a pumpkin pie, then, like, a, you, it mostly tastes like, you know, like, kind of, like, um, an, um... The, t- the texture of the mashed rutabag is and like uh, some nutmeg and um, and some brown sugar. It's nice and sweet and it's it's actually you know nice and warm. She she, she gives you all for free because uh, 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 this this is Celestine's on uh, uh, like uh, work and she and uh, she did a great job. Just tasty. Uh, Bess, have you actually had uh, um, uh, um, uh, anything, a, a, a really big a pie? Or a, any pie in, a, 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 at all? Asked himself? Yeah. Uh, probably not. I always just kind of assume that pies are like a rich person. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I think of sweets in any like setting, either like this or like in... Um... Like well, a post-apocalyptic well, setting, well, I was assuming it, 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 Yeah, it would be expensive because of sugar, right? Yeah, yeah. It's especially in, in this uh, little um, world that I made. Um, the only one, the all, only one that, that that grows sugar on mass, but um, is well, the one that grows sugar on mass is the is the the Druid Guild in in Sabatiel because they have their own island to, to work with. Mm. But uh, yeah, but the overall, they uh-huh. they allowed, they allowed you to do it for free. They allowed you to eat this pie for free because of the fact that um, uh, it wasn't made by Philistine and and it made by Celestine and um, this time is not very much on sweets and because uh, most of the sugar dough are, are meant for like uh, other recipes and some mixed drinks that uh, Wilhart did and plus on uh, uh, plus both Wilhart and um, um, and 
Wolfhard's wife on a Golden Takes Bus Lights 2, like, Oh, Celestine, this is delicious. You you are doing a very good job. Oh, thank, thank you. Like, I... Like, I... You should, uh, again, uh, Celestine, uh, teach her more about, about cooking. Her, her baking skills are very top-notch. Oh, yeah, we're back, we're back in the tavern now. And with that though, like um, you guys wanna do anything before um, the next day happens? I'm just gonna finish eating my pie. Yeah, I feel like we'll just finish up eating. Still, right, me and I would just be conversating, I guess, still pondering about why he did not choose a better root vegetable. There's so many. Mm -hmm. And as we finish the pie, and um, um. As, as you finish a pie, um, uh, uh, Ivan goes by and go, go like, Wolhart, is the rooms on, uh, are the rooms, um, uh, ready? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. And with that, um, uh, and with that, though, you see the, 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 the adventurers and, uh, uh, who are there actually gonna go in and rent some room, rooms of themselves. And the paladins go in and, um, and you see the uh, the guard about to uh, raise the gauntlet. Like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And he whispers over to Ivan. What? Ah, uh, all right then. Uh, stay, stay your head from him. He's go outside. You see, Drunge actually go outside and um, you hear some loud yelps and talking in goblin and like. And is like um, he goes back outside. Um, I mean, I'll be staying here for a while, okay? Just uh, uh, come back when necessary. All right, but well, we'll leave. It, we're gonna leave in the morning, okay? And got it. They see both Drunge and uh, the Homunculus just leave and go into the forest. You, you wouldn't know. But he's probably trying to finish his experiment on the island itself. Mm. And I see the the gangplank actually raises up. And you see the mechanism actually seals it, so like it'll become more waterproof as the airship slowly goes into the water and acts, acts, acts as an actual ship. All right, sure. because right, you know, he it, it was then uh, like an airship, it was, it was parked on a relatively uh, steep steep cliff. Hmm. And so I don't like, know why I didn't assume it could also double as an actual ship. Yeah, this is basically an an, an airship and uh, that 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 has been converted into a a, a mo mobile bar. The best mobile bar. And so again, like, uh, goes in like, all right, we're got we're going into in mode. Uh, have your rooms ready. Just go up there and uh, rest up. And afterwards, uh, we'll be heading towards Sabatiel in the morning. That's also re another reason why the the two adventurers are staying because they needed to report back to the guild. And yep, you have, you have a room keys available to you. Okay. Um. Like. Did we all just sleep in one room? No, no. You each have your own individual rooms, and and uh, ah. I even made sure of that. Like, oh, um, if you need to relax, um, there's like a little on a bath, a bathhouse room, on on uh, uh, down to the left, restrooms up to your right, and if you just need a, a quick shower, it's uh, uh, straight down uh, down to the middle. That way, when someone comes in and breaks into our rooms, we'll die one by one. <laughs> That's fine. My character's just going to go up to his room and rest. Yeah, might as well. Take Same. off his clunky armor. You doff thine armor? Mm hmm. I do kind of want to upgrade and get, like, plate mail. Mm. Can Druids wear, wear plate, ma plate mail? Hmm? Can Druids uh, wear plate I, mail? I, I, I was going to get a feat for it later. Oh, okay. I want to get Warcaster probably first, though. Warcaster. Isn't Warcaster, like, super good, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's... Yeah, Warcaster is really good. I think it gives you, um... Does it give you advantage on con saves? Yes. Warcaster? Yeah, Warcaster. And you can also, you can also cast, uh... What is it? Without, um... Without a source, right? 
Something like that. Without, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you can perform some magic um, components of spells. You'll practice you scattering yeah, spells. You'll um, practice scattering spells in the midst of combat, learn techniques that grant you the following benefits. You have advantage on con on considering throws that that make you maintain your concentration concentration on, on a spell you take you take damage. You can perform a the somatic components of spells even when you have weapons or a shield in both hands. When a hostile creature when, um, moves movements provokes an opportunity attack from you. You can use your reaction to cast a spell at that creature rather than make it make it an opportunity attack. And that's, that's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. That's what I was originally at thinking. At the time of one action, one action, and must target only that creature. So like, oh, you go for it for me, fireball. Lightning ball. Yeah, I kind of wanted to wear like a like metal mixed in with like nature kind of like armor. Eventually. I, I, I imagine like an uh, like uh, like elven armor from uh, from Skyrim only they have the, the the properties of like um a a adamantium armor. Kind of, kind of. There's this set in I think Elder Scrolls Online that looks exactly what I kind of want to wear. Would uh, would Warcaster work well with uh with um with the uh, wizard w wizard war magic? I guess. Advantage on constitutions. Perform the somatic components even when you have a weapon or shield in one or both hands. Which is kind of why I want to take I'm, it. I'm going to be a wizard. Yeah, I'm going to be a Hey, Edward. I'm going to be a wizard and do wield shields. God damn it. No. We all saw what happened in Company Hell. That guy died. Alright, so anyway, and, um, it's yeah, now. This is kind of how I want the armor to kind of look like eventually. All right, it is now night time. Um, and uh, just go into individual rooms, rooms and just sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is pretty bitch in armor. What the mm -hmm. fuck? Yeah, that's why I was thinking of having my guy kind of wear something similar to that. But I want to get something like heavy armor because I do want to wear heavy armor. Yeah, but you gotta get the female type armor because, as you can see, her armor is clearly better. Oh yeah, no, it also mm -hmm. protects more, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a better defense rating because of yeah. all the Higher small AC. gaps where there's no armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's from Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, I can't remember what War that armor is called. Warcaster also allows you to uh, use magic for an attack of opportunity instead of just a weapon. Yeah. Ooh, that's super cool. Which is one of the reasons, which is the other reason I wanted it because it seemed pretty cool. Oh, I could straight up use poison spray as a, as a reaction. <laughs> attack, attack of opportunity, poison spray. His favorite spell. He's basically, he's basically, um, what the fuck was Tsunade's assistant called? What was her name again? Shizune? I can't think of her name. Shizune. Th that scene where she fucking, uh, gets Naruto out of Kabuto's range and then spits poison needles and then spits a cloud of poison. And that's just, <laughs> that's just Sushi's character. <laughs> he jumps I'm a back druid that isn't a druid, bro. <laughs> Just blows a shit ton of acid like you're at somebody. You, you should you should learn nature. You, you're like um, oh, yeah, you're like um, um, uh, Yusuke's an uh, ancient mother, um, the one that uh, that just just had a bunch of poison to make her uh, make her clan uh, uh, immune and and also create antibodies for for the for said poisons. Mm. Mm. Uh, I, I don't I don't know uh, how deep you guys are, are in when uh, when it comes to uh, to Yu Yu Hakusho. I actually I lose a lot all. of memory of it around the part where they go with the Shisui. I almost said Shisui Uchiha. Um, she yes, Shisui uh, has uh, it breaks the what was it, the Makai barrier or whatever. And they go and fight him in that demon world. Like that's that's basically where it, my knowledge of it stops. Is that arc? Oh yeah, it was the last. It was like a battle for like the one of Yusuke's ancestors. Like yeah, uh, basically on uh, Yusuke and um, uh, all the uh, his entire ancestry line. He's the only one that uh, that awakened his demon form from his ancestral demon father, and basically he and uh, his father tell the tale of how he. 
for simple sake though, I'm just gonna say his father. His demon father actually t- tells a tale how he met his ancient mother, and apparently his ancient mother wasn't afraid of dying because her body is full with poisons, because her clan is meant to like a, to intake poison to create antibodies to create a cure for those poisons, and so he he said, oh go ahead kill me eat me I, I don't care if you eat me you're gonna die anyway because of all the poison. And that boldness actually and and and, uh, and uh, impressed him to to point where where they did the Shreks. And then and then he had an and then his, his ancestral dad had an enemy that had a black hole in his hand, so he just throws his wife at the guy every time he was doing. He's like, "Oh fuck you, dude!" <laughs> Seriously, where did everybody get those fucking poison insects from? It's like. It's like when everybody has kryptonite against Superman. It makes no sense. Right, so anyway, um, you're, you're in your, uh, I, so are you just sleeping? Like you don't actually rest up or take a shower or anything or, or have, go to the bathhouse? Well, bathhouse mule. What? I mean, the bathhouse mule. <laughs> maybe, maybe. From Kevin Smith's, uh, As a fish man. I'll meet you at the uh, the watering uh, the the wash bathhouse whatever the wa- the watering hole we're the having the, we're hole. having the bath we're having the bathhouse episode yeah this is the bathhouse episode oh. the nice filler bath- episode oh right, so, so seriously seriously like and, um I just what are you guys doing um my character's in his room meditating before going yeah to- I don't I don't really see a reason to go to the bathhouse exactly I I would probably just Go All right. Sleep, I don't want to uh, Julius, you, you same thing. Sleeping? Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll just be going to sleep. All right. I was gonna say no. Fuck you, bath. <laughs> All right. So you go inside uh, your rooms and like it's typical in rooms. It's actually, very very nice. You go to the bed and like and I could have sworn uh, this is, like the softest bed you ever you ever laid on. Um. On a cloud. Uh. Out of curiosity, Bast, uh, now how do you usually just sleep? Like, and, uh, when, when you're adventuring on, uh, above the water? Um, I usually cocoon myself in a blanket and then just kind of sit up while falling asleep. Sit up? Yeah, like sit on, like, my butt. And not, like, so, lay down. Yeah, so, so it's like he's meditating or something, right? Yeah, yeah, sort of. Or, like, it, not really it, meditating, just kind of, like, sitting. Or, uh, is it because... Uh, you're, you're, you're wrapped in a blanket, I just... Or, it, it, it's literally it, just Roy, how Roy falls asleep while sitting up somehow. Oh, okay. I don't know. So it, definitely cross-legged. It, but for, so, for a, for a lore reason, though, is it because you're used to it and, uh, be, and, uh, and, uh, being weightless and, uh, underwater? Um... Actually, I was going to say something more along the lines of that's actually how they sleep since they're amphibious. No, you they, just used to sleep in a turtle shell. They, God damn it, no. <laughs> turtle power? Because we all lived in turtles. Um, No, because uh, my whole thought process behind it was, was like as soon as you were like, how do you normally sleep? I'm like, well, how would the people sleep? And it would normally be like, well, I don't think they would sleep underwater because in order to breathe, the water would have to pass over their gills. Um, but since they're amphibious, they would be able to go out on land and breathe air, so, um, they would probably cocoon themselves in something that would keep their skin moist, but since I don't have that, the next best thing to, like, being cocooned in that stuff would be just being cocooned in a blanket. Um, they'd probably find, like, well, I mean, they live under the water, but I mean, we're like tribals too, so I don't know if they would... I, I probably should have thought about whether or not they would build their house out of something. They probably would. It'd probably be like, like small stone houses or something with like small air pockets so that they could go in and sleep. This, this is really weird. Is this really weird? <laughs> I feel like this is really weird. Oh, because I was gonna say uh, each room is kind of like tailored and, and, and somehow tailored and to your own individual needs. So uh, Bell Green, when you go inside, it's overgrown with vines. Like there's the you know, the atypical like uh, there's like um. Uh, there's like a um a, a bed, a desk, and a little um armoire if you're staying here to on uh, out of more than one day, and also and a little a little container and uh, to also a coat rack and a container to put in uh, put sa- safely put your weapons and or armor. Hmm. Okay. And like you go in there, it's also overgrown overgrown with vines. Just like, just like a little on um. 
fountain which simulates the 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 creek a uh, 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 basically, uh, uh, it basically similar to the sound of a babbling, a, a, a babbling, a babbling creek. Oh, okay. What a babble. And like, uh, and um, the, and uh, and you don't hear any, you know, fauna or anything, any like, you know, birds chirping or, or anything like that. But you just feel serene because you're surrounded by nature. It's like your days when you're 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 with your master. Okay. Uh, Julius, you go inside and uh, you, you, you have a, 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 just a, you know, a simple um, bed, desk, you know, the same thing, and uh, a little container to put, to safely put your weapons away, and um, um, a little armor stand and or hat, and, uh, hat rack to put like your, your uh, like hat and, hat and, 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 shell, and various, oh. uh, uh, on, um, various coats and or on, uh, scarves. And like an and for you and there's like an, uh, a a mirror you can just go gaze upon yourself and uh, you know not see any grooming uh, grooming you want to do. And also a bed which is very very soft like it's, it's like one of the softest beds you ever laid on. Okay, loud as hell. Okay, thanks, thanks, man. I have now. Sorry about that. Happen? My my it's no, my phone went off. Oh. I was like. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it was loud. Yeah, I heard a little. Go. Like I just heard like rant, like kind of like. Uh, 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 uh. But that was all I saw. Oh, that's all I saw. That's all I heard. I'll be oh. right back. But right, so, oh. wh where did I cut out? Uh, that is very soft. Yeah, it's very very soft. Um. It's the uh, basically, basically it's more soft than than you than you used to because these feel like uh, these are like those rich luxurious beds from those hoity toity hotels because it's softer than what you're used to than uh, what you're used to because because uh, uh, you're used to like common uh, in beds you know for adventures it, this is softer than that and just like. Like you nearly, it, 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 you nearly just get get then you know, sink in, into your bed, your bed and pillow. I'm literally just Homer Simpson from that episode where uh, he didn't go to church with the family and he was just like bundled. Up. Oh yeah, in that picture that you just posted. Yeah, that's the used? one. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a big toasty cinnamon bun. <laughs> uh, for you, uh, nah, Bast, um. You go inside and like um, you don't see a bed or anything. You, you, you just see like an, um, you're you're covered in metal and you're covered like in metal walls and you just see a button. Okay. Actually, no, you you do see a bed and uh, 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 um, uh, 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 in the corner as well. Uh, but then uh, it's different. You it's not made made like cotton. It's actually an um or anything. But that's if you investigate it. And, um, you, see, you just see a bed. Uh, you're, the walls are made of metal. The bed's different and seems to be covered in plastic or something. Mm. And the sheets are are um, the sheets are soft, soft like actual blankets. Though, but the, y y even you can tell it's, it's magical in some way. And there's a button on the, on the, right next to the two door. I push the button. The, the door gets sealed up, and your room fills with water. Oh. Sea water, to be exact. Hmm. You have enough room to swim about and like and, uh, uh, enjoy yourself a bit. And you see that the bed itself is covered in plastic because of the fact that, that uh, it's meant to be sealed. It's meant, it's meant to be soft and uh, seal seal out on um, at the water. And the blanket itself has, has been uh, enchanted to where it still remains that the, the physical capabilities of of an, of an above water blanket, but it's not wet, so it'll keep you warm even even uh, even on uh, uh, even uh, uh, underwater, if if you so choose to. An underwater toasty cinnamon bun. Yes. Yeah, then I do. I don't... And that's yeah. how I shall sleep then. Wrapped in a cinnamon wrapped in a cinnamon dump bun. Fuck! Wrapped in a blanket. <laughs> uh, wrapped in a blanket though, just floating on on uh, on all around your room, covered in water. Like mm. a candy wrapper stuck in an updraft. And with that, um, you guys want to take a break? Sure. Mm -hmm.
And then stand up anyways. Let's get let's take a, at, uh, a good groin is hurting. A good ten minute break and uh, uh, re and uh, reconvene at 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 ten thirty. Just Is that the hit thing. rapper the baby? Oh, hey Kevin, smack hit rapper and artist the baby. <laughs> hey Kevin, <laughs> uh, hey Jared, what's up? Uh, I'm still very unhappy about the the tur the heroes in a half shell fucking picture. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I feel like uh, <laughs> the urban rancher guy. That that thing is just how uh, my character was treating those goblins. Oh, is that the hit rapper to baby? Six. <laughs> you guys see the the one I posted where it's like when the DM introduces the drow mommy. It's just the yeah. swag jutsu face. Just. <sighs> My favorite one, though, I, that I'm pretty sure Kenshin would would get because he watched Naruto, was the uh, the one with uh, Toby and Pain and Conan coming across the was it the fourth the fourth Mizukage, I believe. I think um, it was, yeah, he was the he was the Jinchuriki, and then they were just like, because Julius was like, we could just we could just get the Goblin and then like incept him as their leader and then puppet him, and I'm just like, huh. That sounds a lot like something that happened in Naruto. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the third uh, Mizukage, the one that that's that's the Jinchuriki. Because uh, I typed it in earlier, I thought it said fourth. Uh, it might be fourth. Okay. Who's who's the one that made that the whole like, an, um? Oh, um... oh my god! The first Mizukage has like two fucking lazy eyes. Holy shit! Bayakuren Baya was his name, and he had like derp eye. Bayakugan. Okay. Uh, Third Mizukake looks like an old guy. Yeah, it's it's the fourth. Okay. His name is uh, then, Yagura Karatachi or then, some shit. Then the glasses guy became the fifth. He, no, he's the sixth. Who's, who's, who's the fifth then? If, if, the if, if, woman. If, Wait, who's, Literally who? female Sushi's character oh. just spits acid on everybody. Augers! Because they couldn't figure out if they wanted it to be lava or acid, but, it, but they both fall under the same thing, so sometimes it looks like she's just spitting straight acid, but at the Five Kage Summit, she was spitting straight lava. It's like, uh... Because yeah, apparently that she combines water, water and fire chakra. She also combines Lady Chakra, but then becomes old. Oh, At yeah. least she doesn't get as, like, overweight as, uh... What's Anko? Her face? Anko, yeah. How does she get overweight? What the hell? An Anko's, like... She should technically have, like, three kids, because that's, like... Or at least one who breaks his bones every time he does something, because it's... She's basically just Naruto's Deku mom, like at that point. Appar apparently, and uh, being stressed out, and uh, oh, by being stressed out by having a piece of um, uh, having the Chris mark and having a piece of Orochimaru inside of you uh, caused you to uh, um, uh, burn burn a lot of uh, calories. Uh. But not not now now that's gone. She just she just packs on weight now, and becomes uh. lazy apparently. Yep. And then, of course, Boruto had to ruin Tamari's design. They're not, they made her look not good. Really? Yeah, I don't like the way she looks in that one. Not a big like, fan of Boruto. It's, it's like the... Uh, yeah, because it's a fucking fan fiction, that's why. The, literally, literally, Boruto's a little asshole. He hates his dad. He, he hates it, the dad I that... very much fans. like... What's her name? Salad? Oh, Serata? I no, hate her no, so she's, much. She's great. She's the best thing to come out of soccer. <laughs> it doesn't have a thing. I, um, I, I can never, I can never forgive her when she basically tells Naruto, uh, Hokage, you don't understand what it's like to not have a family. I'm just like, no, don't you fucking <laughs> yeah, dare. Yeah, don't I, you fucking that's dare. That's the worst fucking part about that story is that like, 
the Don't fucking you board coach dare. is like, my dad's an old piece of shit. It's like, fuck you, dude. Like, he grew up having nobody. You're lucky you get to know who your fucking that's, dad that's is. That's the thing. That's, that's, that's the thing is, though. It's like, um, e- even with that, though, I still prefer uh, Serata over Boruto. Because Boruto is just, just one giant shit. Like, oh, yeah, no, he 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 doesn't like his dad, but he wants his dad to fucking notice him during the tuning exams. So he fucking cheats and uses a super weapon to give him extra jutsu. It's like fuck off. Yeah, the thing that can copy jutsus, right, or whatever, it uses little scrolls. Yeah, it's it it's, little it's, scroll it's a mechanical a mechanical jutsu thing, and like and yeah, even, so you... he even stated and uh, like um using that type of, of jutsu in the in in, in a in an exam to test your own body's limits rather than the mechanical limits is is, is illegal. Uh-huh. And against the rules, and apparently the ass who made who gave that to borrow so doesn't care. He's he's about to promote his on uh, his little mechanical wonder. His little that sounds dirty. His little mechanical wonder. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would. I guess technically it would sound dirty even if what's her face from My Hero said it. But like she can be forgiving because she's insane and puts puts the booba pressure on fucking. Uh, Uraraka, who d- d- apparently everybody in my house does not particularly enjoy. Oh, they don't like anti gravity girl? Nope. Why? Jared does, though, last time I checked. She's a rapper, she's spitting hot fire? Yes, yes, she is. The fucking Mizukage fucking album coming out next week. Oh, she's the hit rapper to baby? Yes. However, did you know? I knew it. Strict cold it goes. Mm. Wait, did, did did anybody happen to see the fucking video I posted at the very beginning of this uh, this session? Ketchin was like, he started recording and he didn't edit any of the titles, so he was like, no, 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 and it just reminded me of like this, like Oni plays Beavis and Butthead animation, and it just it, I constantly watch it because it makes me laugh. Oh, you could see Kenshin turning into this fucking weird monster thing. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened now? Oh, it's fucking great. Oh, so there's a there's like an Oni plays animation. This is this guy that I watch that plays video games? And uh, are they and... turning into Wario? Yeah. And... They um they, they, in the animation because they they start going yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then they start, and then uh, one of them goes boing, 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 and that's um what Beavis and Butthead always used to do so they start doing that and then their characters turn into Beavis and Butthead and then the one that turns into Beavis starts going boing, 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 boing. <laughs> he just starts turning it he turns from like Beavis to this weird old man and then immediately into a giant buff red monster thing who just goes like going. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me laugh for some reason. <laughs> I just keep watching and my brother's like, stop watching that. I have high expectations for Julius's I'm character. Back. I hope he turns into Super Pope. <laughs> what happened? You will. I said I have high expectations for your character. You That's... better turn to Super Pope. <laughs> yeah, that's him in the middle of that picture where it's it's the three of us. And we find the goblin leader and we're turning him into a puppet is just Julius's puppet plan. <laughs> also, have you noticed that uh, when Sushi does the voice for his character, he kind of sounds like, uh... Eskinor, yeah. No, no, not not just him. He sounds like, uh, from over the garden wall, he sounds like the, the father of the teacher trying to teach the animals. That's uh, no. Read and stuff. Really? <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what you sound like. Like, you're trying to be like, um, maybe the world is as fluffy as mashed potatoes and molasses. Maybe the world is, maybe the world is just a walrus. Dude, that, that, Could you... dude, that, that show was actually really good. It was really yeah. good, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom yeah, no, real quick. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, oh, shit, is that the hit rapper to baby? Hey, Kevin. Whack. <laughs> I was listening to some D and D songs. Pretty good.
So how you guys been? How you guys day been going on? A day? Um, I've been relaxing. I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact. Mm. And yeah, all day with my uncle inside of a car dealership. Weird. What? what did you guys need like a new truck or something? No, my uncle was getting a uh, new car. What kind of car uh, did he decide on? Uh, Ionic, the new uh, 2019? Oh, okay. It's the new plug-in hybrid. Apparently he got like 124 miles coming back from the <laughs> the, uh, the place back to our house. And it's like, mm. Jesus. Mm. So I take it we are uh, all back. That, I got dinner and I started falling asleep again. And then... Ooh. I, I woke tomorrow. up and I looked at the time. It was already past seven thirty. It's like, why did no one tell me? I went to go get you at seven thirty-two. I was just giving you some time. Maybe you would have remembered it on your own. Who knows? Not I. Oh, okay, that's not the one I'm looking for. What the fuck is the one I'm looking for? How about you, Kenshin? How's your day been? Eh, I mean, I had like a very, very good sleep the whole entire day because um, I barely slept on a day and a half of, of, of the whole entire day today. I was very, very tired yesterday. I know that feel. Yeah. I know that feel. Fucking Friday for me. <laughs> Fell asleep at like 4, woke up at like 10.30 at night. Oh, I'm just oh like... yeah, you woke up right after we had uh, played some Phasmophobia. Yeah, like woke up and my like, God... Damn it! I'm lucky. I'm glad that tomorrow I have the day off, cause this would suck ass if the, if it wasn't the case. It was like last week. I think it was sat uh, Saturday last week. Um, we just slept all day. Like my girlfriend and I, we just slept all day. There he goes again, flexing about his girlfriend. And uh, <laughs> I woke up, and then it's just like the fuck. And then she was like, "You want to play some Minecraft?" <laughs> it's like sure. But of course. Uh, oh, just... <laughs> just shut up now. Fine, <laughs> I guess you are my little pog champ. No. <laughs> That's it. Streams <laughs> over. Good night, everybody. <laughs> hate you guys. You hate us as much as Slat hates his new bidet. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I have no, Dude, I, I have no, like, Shlad. gauge of that. That man just eating cereal on the Rochelor. <laughs> Non-stop eating cereal. He got a bidet, it was hilarious. Alright, get ready to come back. Wait, what? Get ready to come back. I did. Right. Oh, I can't mm -hmm. speak for everybody else, not the Lorax. All right, wait, the you don't, wait, you don't speak for the trees? No, I speak for the fleas. Oh. It's just that flea guy from uh, Bugs Life? It's just the flea from Mucha Lucha. <laughs> it is I, the flea. The flea? Why does it sound like the claw? The claw. The claw wishes the flea too. It is I, the flea. I oh, love that they made a compilation of him calling his kangaroo the baby. Yay. I still, I, I, I still like the, uh, what is it, the Zero Death speed run? Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Like Alright then, I right, guess so. <laughs> so good. You guys, um, basically wake up, um, you wake up to, uh, not to, like, um, hold on, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Oops, too loud. There we go. You, you wake up to an actually the, the floating tavern actually flying. And... You... You basically hear that you know, the sound of the propellers run, running and, uh, and, and flying. And the steam... And also the, the, the magical uh, artifice that uh, steam engine um, working. There's, there's, there's the tavern below you and also the upper deck and, uh, above you. Um, unless you want to meet with uh, your compatriots first. Like, 
one by one, one by one, you guys actually exit uh, your rooms, and um, of course, on um, fast, and uh, you're, you're not, you're an idiot, but not stupid. Uh, you 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 press the button to drain the water first, and then and then, and then exit. Of course, I'm not an idiot. My intelligence is. Flexing on Nineteen. Me. What's yours? <laughs> God, I miss them on Forgotten Realms. Um, yeah. So yeah, I would not just open the fucking door and drain my room out onto everybody. Right, yeah, it's dumb. Right, so you, you come out and you're still kind of wet, but as you... You know, so as you leave the door, something is cast upon you and you're, you're immediately dry. Oh. Impressive. If if you're curious, if you're curious enough, though, you can roll me a perception check. If not, then you just go and um, go about your day. I would just assume it's some kind of spell to just make me dry. So. All right. You did not look into it. Yeah, so I I'd go meet up with everybody. Everybody. Um, mm. at, I I meet up on on the upper deck, or you want to go to the to, to the bar? Um, I assume we would meet at the bar. It just seems like the most logical place to meet, since it was also the last place we saw each other before we went to bed. True. It's also where we would probably get food as well. Indeed. And where we watched our friend walk off to go spawn. True. Alright, so you head down to the bar. And you you and, um you always see you and uh Wolhart down there. As uh it's it's not relatively early, but not relatively late either. It's like right it's like um roughly ten thirty ish. You see Wolhart Oh good morning! Normally the bar isn't 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 open. Um, normally the bar isn't open while while on flight, but not every day you have you have uh, um uh, travelers with you on a uh, mid flight. So for obvious reasons, obviously we're not parked yet, so food is not available unless you know uh, unless you know we could actually um wake up one of my nieces uh, on making some food for you, but then um, everything here is still on tap. We would not want to inconvenience you. I mean, like a, a simple breakfast store, like um, bread and water is still available to you as well. And they keep, um, um, I have a, a, um, some coffee available if you want some of that as well. Do you have any tea? Oh, of course. Uh, what, what kind do you want? Something calming. A nice... I I got I got a fresh, a fresh run a package of tea from the Phoenix Empire, a nice common jasmine green tea. He and and you see him with precision and a calm determination. This is like one of the tough few times you actually seen on a Walhart and um, actually look at something with not much concentration as he balls and prepares your tea. And he's done. He pours you a cup, and he also and, I, and he just gives you and for reflex. So he he bass, He gives you an, a, a glass of water. Thank you. You take a you take a sip on a bell grieve, and this is the best cup of tea you ever had. It's like basically above game. It's like Uncle Iroh made you some tea. Oh. Shit. Very relaxing. Yep. You, 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 you can hear Iroh going, the secret ingredient is love. The lyrics of winter, spring, summer, and fall play in his head. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, no. No, don't give me oh, the feels. Dude, that's such a good song, though. 
It is, but it's so sad. It that, is. They sung, they sung, uh, uh, Mako's uh, understudy sung that song for him. Because it was the episode where they gave him remembrance. So, uh, uh, gave him remembrance. Because that was the first episode his understudy took over as Iroh. Mm hmm. Curse you, Roy. Curse you. <laughs> Damn you, open the can of feels. And, uh, Julius, uh, I assume you um, join them sooner or later? Yeah, yeah. Eventually. And uh, get some water. Yeah, you see a you see Bast and uh, drinking some water and um and uh, Bo Grief has a, a nice calming and uh, je- a nice calming tea. Hail Julius. Hail. That's your calming greeting for everyone. Is that not everyone's calming greeting? Uh, you know, you can just switch it up with like a hoy. Or uh, how's it going? Or greetings, salutations, something along those lines. Or you could use what the humans call milady. <laughs> no one does that. I have a water. Two waters. <laughs> no one does that. <laughs> I like that delivery. <laughs> Two glasses of water. Come right up. Ah, uh, the drunge and Wilhard voice is, is tough on my throat. You should use that trick that, uh... Fuck, what was uh, Sir Elton John used to use with Vaseline? Used to help him sing. Mm. <laughs> that was such a bad joke back in the day. Why would they do that? Uh, I, 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 I want to try and get that one tea on um, both Colin McKinley and, um, and Edward Bosco said. Uh, apparently, in, uh, it's, a, it's a common tea that the voice, voice, voice actors in the industry use. It... I, I forgot what the actual name is though, but the, they nicknamed it on a uh, throat coat. Mm. Apparently, it's, it's I was good. gonna say that. <laughs> what? I was gonna say that. Why? Voice actor T. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you should uh, focus more on delivering it from your diaphragm than your vocal cords. Well, it's that rough voice though that that, that I need to do for both both Grunge and Wallheart. But anyway, yeah. So you, you meet up at, at the at the, um, the center table. You had your talk with Ivan Brett with him, but but it's only three of you there. Uh, George is not there for you know, he stayed at the island. Um, I, Ivan's not there. You know, you know he stayed stayed there as well. Um, and plus it's too, a little too early, so you, you would assume the two adventurers that that that's, that 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 stayed as well uh, are still sleeping. So it's just you three and Wilhart behind 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 the bar. As the the drow lady and the, his two nieces aren't there as well, and the guard he's standing in his usual position, even though on um the um, the door to the the door is currently closed because you you're, you're currently mid flight. Hmm, that man is always angry. I I say I say that uh, above game. No no no, I'm saying that above game. Oh, I thought you were saying it in character. No 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 I'm saying it about game. Because if I remember correctly, he was also there with, uh, when Ruth was trying to hit on somebody. Yep. And, uh, that guard got pissed off at Ruth, too, so. Ow. My body hates me. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hello. Okay. Everybody was just really quiet. I'm like waiting. I was taking a, a handful of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and I was munching on it, so. Ah. Uh. Alright, so, yeah. You, you, again, you, you meet up on, on at this table. You're drinking some waters and Bill gives them drinking tea. This no, wait. is incredibly calming. The above game, did Brightwood mention about taking us to the inner city where the... That sounded weird. Uh, the, the part of the city that has magic items? No, he did not. He just states that the, um, he had Woolhart on uh, uh, travel everyone here back in, into the um, to Summit Hill. Okay. Plus, plus, it's serendipitous because Wilhart needs to stock up on on, on certain on certain like ingredients and also ale. Mm. 
Um, and Blood, um, Bloodstone, it's a good. It, it's basically to kill two birds with one stone, because okay, um, if not, uh, uh, Brightwood would have to call call upon his own his own personal airship. But um, he um, uh, basically um, told you, and uh, he has a reward for you, and uh, and uh, and wants to talk to you more back at uh, at the city. Okay, just trying to figure out how to get into character here. So. Yeah. He didn't say anything else about that. He just says he has a reward for you. So what do you think this reward is going to be? It's just about to ask the same question. I would not know, but we should not turn it down. Well, that's a given. Nobody, nobody with with the with, with the half a mind would uh, turn down Master Brightwood about a job personally given by him. Uh, but that still raises the question as to why the uh, the turtle gave us the job to go get the goblins. When it seems like uh, Master Bright would would prefer them to be alive, so now I'm a bit curious as to who that turtle was. Above game, you would know that the turtle was the one that gave you the guys the mission. It, 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 yeah, it, no, it, it, that's it, what I'm saying. Yeah, that I don't I don't understand why the turtle would give us a mission that seems to completely spit in the face of. Uh, the guild master. You know. I mean, then again, we probably also didn't know that the guild master was super into letting those goblins live. But the guild master, he he has a card. You you would know because you you've been uh, actually with him. Uh, you actually uh, um seen him a couple of times at at the guild hall. Um, uh, a couple of times. You know that he's he's firm, strict, but he also has a kind heart. Because uh, he allows uh, um, any all form, any all, uh, sentient form of life, he also tries to be, befriend. And he, he also knows that he didn't care about the, um, any, any of the goblins that fight back. Like, for, for example, he didn't actually, you know, stop and cry or mourn about the dead goblins. But uh, he also didn't care about the, uh, you killing the leader either. He only cared about the, any of the confused living ones and uh, still there. Because, you know, a lot of times goblins are... Uh, you would know the goblins are... Our our survivalist bunch. They do anything anything to sur to survive. Rather, right? you know, it would be like backstab, kill, steal, anything like that. So at 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 and uh, Brightwood, you could feel that uh, he's trying to give them an, uh, a good a very good alternative. But um, again, goblins are also stubborn bunch. And relate. Okay, uh, you, you can tell that that uh, Brightwood has uh, been around the block as many times as you as you lived. Mm. I'm still not entirely certain why why someone would want us. To, we, I mean, the potatoes are are tied to to grunge. grunge. The question is, what did that what did that turtle grunge? Sorry, he's saying grunge. I don't know why. He's got a. It's because he wears a flannel. He wears a flannel over shirt around his waist because he's grunge rock. Um, yeah, he has those fingerless gloves. Yeah, he's a grunger. Um, those they were connected to drunge. I don't. I. I there's there's got to be something more to this. Am I just maybe I'm just overthinking it? And what's the worst that can happen? He attacks us and kills us for fun. I am also uh, still confused about the potatoes, and why he did not use proper crystals. I wish I was in the game itself so I could look at him and go, You're still on about that? That was like 20 pages ago. He stopped referencing the, uh, <laughs> the parsnips. Uh. Hmm. Well, whatever the case may be. If it's a job specifically from Master Brightwood, then chances are it will pay off big. It could also be a very long job. Well, long jobs usually have better rewards anyway, so... And also more danger.
Well, I don't mind as long as, it's, as I get a good fight in. So, either way, I think I think I might I think I might be in. What say you, human? I'm still wondering when well, we're going to get paid from the last job. That being said, well, he literally ushered us onto the thing, so I mean, yeah. we'll be paid eventually. Eventually. Other than that, uh, I can sure go with some uh, another job. That's fine with me. I'm sure we'll pay be paid quite well. We will. Uh, I, at worst, one of us may die. Maybe. As long as it is not an escort mission. One of us most preferable. Will probably most certainly die. <laughs> smiling, smiling. Yeah, I forgot about that. Just now. <laughs> uh, this this, this right, mission is this mission, was... this mission is very dangerous. So, someone one will surely die. Fry, Leela, Bender. Damn you, <laughs> damn you, man! Like this mission is very dangerous. One of you, one of you will surely die. Bass, Belgrave, Julius. Damn you, old yeah. man! <laughs> Yeah, that actually does kind of make sense. All right. Well, I guess we, I guess you you continue on uh, your your just on uh, just plain chatter for about uh, a couple hours a uh, couple of hours because that, that, that's how long the flight is. It, it's almost as it's just as long as uh, your your flight from there to here. And so come out there, it's lands. And. And exiting first is an uh, is a uh, um Ivan Brightwood and his two paladins. And hold on, let's see. Can, uh, there we go. And you are again confronted with the the, um, the very same uh, um war forges and um the same war forges and acolytes. They're all saying like, "Welcome to Sabatiel. Welcome to Sabatiel. Oh, Master Brightwood. And he's on that, uh, the, these three uh, gentlemen are mine. I had, and, um, oh, of course, of course. Gentlemen, follow me. And right away. as you're about to, as you're following the, uh, the guild master, um, we see that uh, the, the two other uh, uh, adventurers, the one who killed the black dragon, and, and like, uh, and like, like, whoa, that is pretty impressive. You're being invited by the guild master. Uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of jealous. <laughs> Build masters choking on my gas bladder. What an honor! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, I just Bass just looks at them as they walk by and just looks at them and goes, "Hey, salutations." Ah, there you go. There you go. Alright, since so uh, you, I guess you go and follow him. Yes. As such, though, you follow him through the um, the um, basically the event, the adventurers district of uh, the the outer the outer ring of Sabatiel, and you go inside and you head amongst you know the familiar scene of the adventurers guild. With uh, at the at the at, what you know the the same adventurers yelling, screaming, and telling tales, drinking ale, eating eating some chicken that 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 that, that um, the kitchen has, the smell of ink and paper and um uh, um shuffling on a uh, remind um, uh, again it's very familiar to your ears and you see uh, um Abigail in the background and, and uh, just doing her damn her damnest done best job ever. What do you mean? Well, I mean, like, uh, you, you're basically an, um, you, 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 you've been, you've grown a, a rapport with Abigail. You've seen her a lot of times, so it's more casual now rather than, than uh, professional. Oh, okay. I probably, Bass would probably still be very professional, though. Yeah. Because yeah. he's all about that and trying to be social without screwing it up. And so like, and uh, you see her, and uh, still working, and she sees the three of you, 
waves at you, like, and happy, like, you're alive, like, 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 saying, like, mildly, you're alive, oh my god, and, like, and, and, and that she waves at you, well, brings her arms to her heart, saying, you're alive, oh my god, and, like, and see, and sees you being led by, by Ivan Brightwood, and pulls so over to Guildmaster, the Guildmaster, all surprised, surprised, look, look at her face, and, and, and Ivan Brightwood going, like, Abigail, keep working, <laughs> yes, sir, and she just keeps working, like, very nervously. Hmm. Okay. I just kind of give a small wave with my trident, just greetings. My character nods. Greetings. I will also wave. I just imagine you doing that Danny Phantom thing where you high five Tucker, but he had the ghost ray thing, so just blasted him, and that's just you. <laughs> All right, so you're you're he head back to the uh, in the back room. You can know, tell that's his main office, and he's like, he's like, um, you two, uh, um, go back around for another hour and uh, and call a day. And I, uh, uh, like, yes, sir. And another thing you notice though, like, um, uh, he's just a guild master of. Of the Avengers Guild, though, but he's apparently he's able to command the paladins of the uh, the Galavanus clergy and on uh, 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 with with relative like on um what's the um what's the word for it like simplicity? No, no, no. He's basically he's he, basically in essence, and on a lot of our word to actually say it, he's pulling rank on them. Like and, um, even though, like, like I said for I'm trying to explain like he even though he's the uh, guild master of the Avengers Guild, he's able to on uh, uh, um command the paladins of the of the Galavanus clergy. Um, shit. And you guys don't know why. And it's so, like, all right, so I want to say and uh, thank you for this uh, and uh, this uh, this um. Quest of yours. You've done it very, very professionally, professionally as uh, adventures will. You've done your job to a letter. Got rid, rid of this problem before it became an international incident. And you went above and beyond and and dealt with an issue that, that wasn't yours. I'll say thank you. As he, um, and like he had, and I was like, you still have the. The quest, the the quest that uh, people deal with you. Do you? Yes. Yeah, I feel like we would have given that to Julius. Yeah, I pull it out of my coat. And I he, put the three down, or whatever, however many. It was like there. he takes it. Can I also see your go licenses? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. Here Before you now. go. Hmm. Mm hmm. He takes off a stamp, stamps the like, uh, complete, and like he rings a bell. Oh, yes, Mister Braywood. Mister Road, get get the gold from the for these three and and adventurers and personally, oh, right till and triple the value. Uh, 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 of course. Hazard Jeez. hazard pay. He she looks at you like oh. hazard pay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And he then um uh, gets up a stamp. And uh, stabs it, oh, sta and uh, stabs each of your uh, guild licenses. Based off on some papers, stamps those. Congratulations, gentlemen. You are given the Sabatiel passport. Entrance into the outer, uh, 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 currently in the uh, outer ring of Sabatiel. I mean, that we can go in. The SN person. I guess, yeah, because I wouldn't. I don't, I don't know the whole like. Yes, uh, basically, basically above game. This allows you to go in, in, inside uh, the main districts within Sabatiel, and currently, and, and, and currently, and uh, according to your passport, as you read through it, because then um, it, you would you would know about this. This is like one of your goals as to like uh, try and reach this. You were trying to reach an, an inside Sabatiel because the Sabatiel is like an, uh, the main hub for for like. Any political mercantile, mercantile or adventurers and, and um in 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 this uh, the whole entire world, 
and you're uh, the, the, the deep down you're excited to actually finally receiving it and the level uh, according to your passport is it allows you access to the outer ring Oh, um, Indeed, this is a monument to step. Like, uh, Master, I'm back. Excellent. Here's your gold, gentlemen, and triple the value because of the hazard pay with the corruption. He each gained a 900 gold. Jesus. I can't even do math that good. That, okay, well, that was already writable for some reason. And You said, nine, you said 900, correct? Mm -hmm. And as an added bonus, I um, I push in some papers. You know, you can actually you know, take care of that anytime you want to. But I and um, again, I'm gonna ask you this: uh, if you want to, you three are a good group. You're you know each other for a long time, right? Correct. We have known each other for a, a decent. We came up while. at the same time, you could say. Then. He pulls up his paper. Um, it, it, it sits on a piece of paper, and um, um, basically, in essence, it's, it's a as a lower guild re registration form. How would you like to register as your own mercenary group, or guild, if you will? Is that allowed? I mean, I'm allowing it. Would you want to? You get different perks. One of the perks being. Your own abode and within the city in the, the city walls. Something that that's something I like night like nights get. Not, was that why we would not accept human? Well, some some ventures like to be free. I mean, I get that. Oh, well, uh, Bast is just kind of like getting excited because it's that's the kind of thing that knights get. And knights are supposed to be very honorable. What do you think, uh, Sir Julius? Could be a good experience, or it could be a bad experience. Um, what type of perks are we talking? Well, for one, we like yeah, for one, you can get your own abode, and I I start you off with, with a nice, decent lot, and you can actually customize it to your will. The bad part is, though, of course, is um, well, I, I, I'll tell you another good part for the bad part. Another good part is, well, you have access to the outer ring. And keep doing good work on in my favor. I'll try to do my best on um to bump you up, and you'll probably have access to the middle and upper rings as well. It's an honor. And, and the, bad part. the bad part is though is like like any group, clergy, or small guild like like the druids guild or the or the hunters guild, you're embroiled in within the city's um. Bureaucracy, and he looks at himself like that solemnly, and let, let's our big, uh, let's our big. <sighs> but, uh, being adventurers, you are ha have a little leeway to be have a representative, if you will. I mean, that's assuming you don't name your group, on on um. That's assuming you don't name your group, um, with one of. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm, my words are being just right now. <clears throat> That's assuming you don't name your group after yourselves. What do you think we should do, Sir Julius? Oh, I'm uh, frankly inclined to take that offer. Uh, I, I can see that uh, the water royalty here is very excited for that honor. Sir Bastinar, what is your thoughts? I think that we should take it. It is very impressive. Prestige that is usually only given to some of the greatest warriors. I shall follow your lead. Oh, I, we, no, I am not graceful. No, That's what that made me think of. Excellent, excellent. Just, um... Um, again, whatever you want to, just finish this up, and it, depending on what, what, what or not you want, you, you want, uh, you want to finish this, finish this, or do this. As he hands you uh, this little slip of paper, and do you read this little slip of paper? 
24 hour access to all the districts and all the rings including including the the the, the, the center and uh, council pillar only with uh, of course uh, limitations you have to be with a uh, with a guard and a guide like we're gonna fucking steal it I mean, that's still good it's it's um, a precaution precautionary measure it's a basically you can tell with his face it's it, it was that was beyond his power and the fact that, that uh, he had some untrustworthy uh, adventures back then so the libertarian clergy and um had to butt in well, it's still fine i'm yep. still good with it Again, you have you have time to actually do this though, but uh, just just be forewarned, your housings won't be um your, your housings won't be finalized until you get this finalized. And he points at the uh, the group registration form. Hmm. What shall what should our guild be named? That's up to you guys. I almost immediately blurted out the Akatsuki. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We've got a fish guy. We got a guy that wanted to manipulate people. We, well, I don't know about a guy in armor. Well, I guess the story was kind of in armor for a while. The worst name for us, though. Don't don't pick that name. It's stupid. Pretty bad name. <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Especially since it's just plagiarizing. <laughs> it's not plagiarizing. They, they were the, they, the English and Japanese dubs couldn't decide which was which they were the Akatsuki or the Akatsuki. All right, they so very clearly own one game. name but not the other. All right, so anyway, you, you see, uh, you, you see, um, you see, on on uh, uh, I remember with like slowly and try to take off his armor. Well, German, if we, if we don't have any more business though, on uh, um, the uh, that'll conclude our business here. Uh, if I if I need your ex expertise, I'll I'll call upon you. Well, it was our pleasure. Indeed. Thank you. Oh, just letting you know, your rank your rank has been uh been bumped up. So you now have an, um the the ability to go to up to uh, two star two star missions now. As you look at your licenses, the one star and and um has bumped up to, to two stars. What shall our guild names be? <laughs> you, you see, you see that, that as you just leave his office. Yeah. I will so, let you pick Sir Julius. I'm very bad at this guild naming system. Bastinar, do you have any suggestions? He's dead. <laughs> And it's what? <laughs> I, I, I was making a noise. I was thinking. Hmm. RPG rhubarb rhubarb pipe group. Damn it! No. Bye, gang. Well, again, yeah, and, and um, yeah, yeah, no, uh, it won't be fine. Still, yeah, you have that, done, that, uh, that, um. Is uh, uh, turning that form, and um, but you also have a simple paper that allows you to uh, twenty four access twenty four hour access to, uh, to the the entire city, and also, but you you need a guide and uh, and and, and uh, um, an escort with you, but it it, it did say on the back and and, uh, and uh, it also comes with with with, with, a, with a bit of a tour guide. Champ boys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the worst name ever. My little pog champs. No, no pog champs. <laughs> Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. Look like that fucking high honey meme. Fuck that. Where's that? Uh, where's the eight foot tall vampire mom? <laughs> All right. So yeah. Um. You have the the finalized on the the paperwork and also and um you have, you have a little tour if you want to use that as well. Uh, by the way, that that little slip of paper won't actually um uh, um uh, give you access until you actually do the tour or get get a guide uh, get a guide and um and guard. He's gonna clap trap at us. I can feel it. Uh, welcome to 
Hello, Vault Travelers, and welcome. <laughs> oh, welcome. I, I leave. Welcome to the Firestone District. <laughs> and this is the this is the bounty board called the Firestone Bounty Board. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So seriously, yeah. Now, what are you guys doing now? You basically just standing in, in and uh, just stand. I think we're just trying to think of a name for our thing. Yeah. So you, you just, just you just taking the tour. You, 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 you just at, at the table, a, a, a table of the of the uh, the the um the Avengers Guild, just thinking like name. We need a name. Something cool. Shows that we are no fools. <sighs> um. I don't know what to call us. The chaos. I mean, strategy. If, if well, I mean, then if you want, above game, you want you do the tour now and like um, think, you have a week to think about think of a, of a good name. Yeah, I was gonna say we should take the tour. How long is the tour? Because it's like it's like twenty minutes. To I'll try. I'll try. Party. I'll try and mash it in, uh, and 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 uh, so it will be on uh, before twelve. All right. Hold up, before we go on, remember ahead we knew someone who had like all these created characters and it was just a combination, any three combinations of Chaos, Shadow, and Ninja in different orders. No, 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 Dragon was one of the words. Oh, Dragon, sorry. Any combination of those for every single character. Anyways, let's look. Yes, we'll just call ones. ourselves the Chaos Dragons. Got it. No. All right. So anyway, you go over on on uh, on uh, to the 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 instructions on you read, you read the instructions on the piece of paper, and oh, you're outside now. So that and you go outside. You see these on uh, two um. You see these two on um. Uh, war forges. Just st st standing about and uh, answering questions here that to, to random passer passerbys, and th that's location that I'm preparing to, to turn this in. Sorry, but the, all I hear is the the like clarinet noise or whatever it is in the background. Oh, sorry. Uh, just <laughs> let um lower that for a minute then. There. Oh, you, wow, you, I am you, on it. Yeah, the you loud see. Dude of the dude. Yeah, you, you see on, on uh, these two little, uh, these two war forges, roughly about um, uh, if you look if if, if you go with um, I assume Bill Grievous is a tallest member of your group, right? Um, Probably so. How tall are you, Bill Grieve? I, I believe I'm seven eight. Oh yeah, you're yeah, you're definitely. Yeah, seven eight seven ten. Yeah, what I put down. Yeah, if if you're looking at Bell Grieve as 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 a, as a, as a as a good scale, these war forges, uh, similar in make, uh, similar in design, and so like you know, you, you, you didn't realize that these were twins, and uh, you didn't, didn't realize these these were robots, and that you could have sworn to be twins, mm. and so like um, they're about they're roughly about half of uh Belgrave's, uh height. Does it act? So they're they're kind of like our size. Yes. I mean, not really colossal, but... Oh, you didn't say they're half of his size? Yeah, they're half his height. Okay. So, aren't they, like, dwarf height? I assume? About. The, so... No. No, right. Is Kenjin cutting out for anyone else besides me? No, he's cutting out a little bit. Every Is time. he... Is it supposed to be him cutting out? It doesn't seem like he's cutting out. Is, is it that bad? Oh, right, now I can hear you. It was like, uh... Between that, I didn't hear anything. So, so she said it was that bad? Because uh, uh, this is me leading into the mic. Oh. Fine. Now. Uh, how about now? Uh, it was like a quick stutter of, uh... How about... Beginning. How about now? Uh, that's, that's good. I, I have to be closer to the mic, seriously? Maybe. Or I could just, you know, increase the gain, but I don't want to. Lazy. Well, it's a yummy mic. It's good to pick up everything, and I don't want to pick up everything in my house. Yeah, I mean, if I turned up my gain, I, you could hear Ed 
in his room <laughs> all the way on the other side of the house. Yeah, that's true. Well, any, any, anyway. Rats throwing each other. Anyway, so like, um, do you approach these two Warforges? I do. Um, okay. I was going to say, I just kind of stand behind them. Not, not the Warforges. Like, like, Hello! Hello! How can I help you? Hello, are you our tour guides? Tour guides? Oh, they have the slip. Do you have, do you have a, a tour guide slip from the guildmaster? Pass them the, the slip. Just hold it out with them. But, and they, they collect each of you guys' on the slips and they hold it in their hands and immediately just burns up. Excellent! Can we see your passports? You gonna burn those too? <laughs> oh no no no! And the and um and uh, so the um with a little bit of, with, with they wave their hands and and over uh, it says that on uh, uh, access to outer ring, it it basically uh, has a, it's a glowing it's basically it's a glowing uh, uh basically a glowing stamp. That will disappear in twenty four hours, and it says that uh, you have uh, all this. Uh, City all access, you get no access on the have access for 24 hours. You have access to and any of the uh, any of the rings in any of the districts. Magic district, let's go. One moment as we go, to... one moment as we get a guard to accompany you. Five minutes passed, and um, you and Mr. A um. One of the captains uh, 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 of the outer district and uh, goes up, goes up to you, and uh, and, uh, and uh, comes up. Oh, captain! I didn't expect you to be here. No, nah, that's fine. That's fine. And uh, it's not every day we get an, uh, uh, a tour going on for the entire city. Plus, and, uh, the drudgery of paperwork is getting boring. <clears throat> like, hello, hello, you folks. My, my name is my name is Dupree, Dupree Sutherland. to meet you. These are my compatriots. Uh, Vast and on. And, uh, Greetings. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm Merfolk. And don't see, don't, don't see uh, you guys quite often uh, above the water. I, what, what was his name again? Uh, Dupree Sutherland. I never fucking guessed the first name in a million years. What's his last name again? Sutherland. 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 Spelled And yeah, he's a he's on uh, the captain of the of the outer uh, outer ring, for uh, from the Libertalia clergy. And he, he, when, when you when you introduce a and a blow grieve like. Whoa! Like, wait there, big bug, big guy. Um. N okay, not to insult you or anything. Uh, again, I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, uh, as I can. Um, are you a Trent? I am a Goliath. Oh! I'll take off my helmet to show that I am a Goliath. Oh, uh, I'm very, very sorry. It's just that though your wood armor is like perfect to look like a Trent, which I don't think. Uh, I I think you were trying to go for that. Again, not my, not my to call. It is just pieces of trees I took from back home. Excellent. Okay, good, good. All right then. Um. Hold on. Oh shit! I wrote all their names down, but I forgot about them. I had to, I had to, I had to like. Um, hold on, just... Damn it! Alright. Alright then, um... You two, go, go with, the, with, the, with the tour. Alright. And uh, the both of them actually in you know, that do a little minor illusion thing, and um, like this is the map of Sabatiel, 
we are currently here, the Adventures District of the Outer of the Outer Ring. And you see, like, I don't wanna, you can tell one of them actually ma making a, a minor illusion, a minor illusion of the uh, Outer Ring, and a minor illusion of the actual city, and the other one's using a minor illusion to actually and uh, highlight and uh, uh, where you are and, and 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 the Outer Ring. Hello, you guys there? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Wow. yeah. And like, and we are your tour guides. I am construct, construct serial, serial number C M P dash forty five, and I am construct uh, serial number A T L dash forty five. Okay. <laughs> and I want to ask you this. Would you like to ask, answer questions during the tour, or at the end of each district? Maybe at the end of each district. What do you think, my compatriots? I am fine with whatever. You lead the way. Indeed. And then we shall wait until the end of the districts. Excellent. And feel free to uh, um, stop us if you want to do any shopping. Albeit, remember, you only have 24 hours. Okay. Alright, then, as in, uh, you're led towards the Outer Ring, um, the Outer Ring is a place for the more normal common folk. We have residential re 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 districts here, 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 and here. And you see uh, again to show you the map again, and it uh, highlights you what the the, the residential uh, districts are. And they're kind of you know, kind of like you know, like thin strips on the on, like on the, the outer ring, and some are spread apart within the other districts. We are about to enter the commercial district, and you go inside, and you see a bunch of like you know stores, you know ones like on um. Like one that that's on uh, that covers is basically an um, uh, clothing. One is like a weapon shop, an armor shop. Way better than what you see in, in other, other other menial towns that you've been you've been to. Uh, there's like a, a scroll shop meant for scrolls, a potion shop meant for potions. Of course, you also see like you know a coffee shop, a tea shop, some food places you know, that sells like the, the different foods. And you see this one uh, tailor shop that's. One 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 plot of of uh one plot of land, kind of like you know, like, like um. It takes up the space of like, I'd say like on a, a um. Of uh, hold on, let's see. Like imagine a um a house like at the corner uh, uh, out of two streets. Mm -hmm. But it's very very tall. So there's a weapon shop, an armor shop, and what else was there? there, there there's a various, uh, there's various weapon shops, various armor shops. You know, and head by different, on, um, head by different, on, uh, um, by different on, uh, owners. Okay. Like you know, like, uh, you can tell like, you know, this, this one is that uh, uh, specializes in like uh, human human weaponry. This one, this one specializes in uh, in, in dwarven Im immaculate on uh, uh, forge make. This one uh, on uh, specializes in like uh, underdark stuff. Mm. That kind of thing. There's also an, uh, a po um, some potion shops, a shop that uh, that specializes only in magic magical scrolls, a magic trinket shop, um, and um, and some you know some food places as well. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, like there's there's a food place that that that's, that sells this Phoenix Empire culinary treat called raw men. Like you never even heard uh, what yes, that is. The wrong man. Uh, there's also one from the 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 dragon district. Though you see a dragonborn, he's roasting like an uh, um um a a whole entire uh, chicken uh, on some on 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 some spit roast. Cool ass chicken. Like different food places as well like, as well. That commercial district is meant for the trading, selling, and buying of goods. With it, and um, oh, it's been established and the, the trade like on the common goods. Um, I'll be it though. If you're looking for any magical items, you have to wait until later in the tour, as common trinkets that are um, 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 enchanted with common uh, effects are only here. Oh, 
well, actual magical artifacts are in are in the middle and in the middle and upper rings. What is the best armor shop in this area for my size? That will be the Dwarven. They, and when we want the best defense, go with the Dwarven. They make immaculate armor, a bit very expensive, but it's all um an um it's all made fresh from their from their in, in their own forge in in house. As the, the main forges are inside the middle ring of Sabatio, which which and uh, gives and uh, which gives the service to all of the weapon and armor shops in the commercial district, while the dwarven one has their own in-house forge. They make weapons and armor relatively slow compared to other shops, but their work is very immaculate, but also very expensive game we're we're going to have access to this area that we're taking the tour of yeah yeah uh, no, normally normally you have, you have access to the outer ring but for 24 hours though you have, also have access to um uh to the to the middle and and and, and, and the middle and inner ring okay um i guess i'll go into the dwarven shop then mm. <laughs> oh wait wait no so we're still in the outer ring correct you're still in the outer ring yes you're, yeah. in, you're in the oh, commercial okay. district and well, like, I'll make note that that's where I would like to go later. Yeah, uh, about getting still in, in the tour, but um, you, and uh, you, you have access to, uh, to this place to everything in twenty four hours. So like um, yeah, you're still in the outer ring though. He's giving you, giving you a tour of the outer ring. Oh, and right. and here's the crown jewel at the commercial district. This place is called Johnny and Josephine's Bazaar for Adventurers. Hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're making a very stern face right now, Kenshin. <laughs> I'm I have a shield, a big shield grin right now. It's like it's like the fucking link laughing. Gif. Okay. Did the other two get not get it? <sighs> what was it called? Johnny and Josephine's uh Bizarre for Adventures. Oh my god. I'm done. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm myself out. <laughs> Later, nerds. Um, anyway, so like, anyways, anyway, so back to being serious for a minute. This place had been, of course, set up by an uh, adventurers, and uh, uh, two adventurers and uh, who all been been paired together, Johnny and Josephine, uh, a good hundred years ago. This is met uh, as as a place to immediately sell or buy from other adventures. So if you like to sell any stuff that you don't want to sell at a store, you could bargain and and sell yourself here. Basically, it's sure. it's a place to actually gonna you know, go in there to buy stuff from other adventures rather than the actual store. So the prices may vary or, fl or fluctuate. And it's also a place where you yourself can actually gonna you know, pawn your uh, ill-gotten gaze from dungeons or carcasses. Oh, okay. So that's or you steal so, stuff. so this is kind of like the free market area, right? Yeah, for for adventures. Okay, it, it's a bazaar. Yeah, it's bizarre. One could say. Uh, next up. <laughs> next up, we have the uh, outer mana district. The mana district itself is special with for Sabatiel. It's only one though that has that is, remains on uh, permanent. In like form of, of a pie slice, so we have here the outer, then the middle, then the inner. The outer one can compose of like uh, arcane secrets and the, the studying of thereof. We have some kind of, we we have on uh, some more on um, advanced than uh, magical scrolls. We have also a library that dedicated to research on, on uh, any magic, and some better magical trinkets. Again, if you're looking for any magical items or relics. Just look for the middle uh, or inner uh, districts. And around you, you see like an, um, just, just like the shops that you saw in the, in the commercial district though, these shops are meant for magic. You see some, some uh, upon, uh, selling like necklaces, rings, um, armbands, armor. You see armor that are glowing, armor, um, 
armor that that actually transforms. Because an um, artifice is also part of magic. So um, uh, you see, uh, you see what you see like um. So not men's words above game. You see, uh, one of the shops they they sell this uh, full plate mail armor, but how one enters it though is like um, the power armor from Fallout Four. Mm. Also, uh, out of game. While we were doing this, I've been sketching a little bit, so I tried sketching your character, Ed. I'm gonna post it in Discord. Okay. All right. So anyway, and um, you also see like on on, on um actual. Um, the, the, one, the 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 uh, the scroll shop and the, and, and the uh, commercial district though is meant to be like you know, more like oh oh I'm selling this, I'm selling this level one uh, this level one um uh, spell and cantrip and uh, here and uh, have some have have that and give me give me some gold that that type of thing you know more common spells you, you can tell like, a lot a lot of spells here in in in, in, the, in this scroll shop and are more advanced kind of expensive but uh, you know it's meant to be like like that. Uh, same with the, uh, some of the enchantments. Um, some of the more common, co the common of the common uh, magical items are also here as well, but you because know, they're more broad and more used. Like for example, there is a shop that that, that sells a bag of holding. Um, because artificers get that at level two apparently. Yep. Well, they, they make their own and they make their own. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, apparently, if they lose it, they can even make another one though, and the old one just just fizzles out. <laughs> I like uh, what is it? The artificers' abilities—they're pretty cool. Yeah, and so yeah, uh, basically the, 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 this basically the the, the, the the other mana district. Next up, we have the Druidic district, which houses and uh, the um, which houses the uh, the ready available items the dru the druids and uh, have made for the populace. That's not from their island. We have horses, uh, horses and for sale. The and also any multiple animals, albeit horses. Um, uh, horses, lizards, giant tarantulas, and and some, and w whatever you can think of. No ostriches. We have here an, an, an a nice tea shop, and uh, made from the very best uh, uh, plants they grow, and of course uh, some decorative shops that sells plants and herbal medicines, and also uh, any herbs for any uh, alchemist or potion shop. And the druid district is covered in vines and plants, overgrown. The cobblestone road you were walking on um, has been replaced with like uh, just stone steps, while everything around you is like dirt, dirt and grass. Yeah, feels like home, doesn't it, there, uh, Belgrave? It does seem a little too commercialized for my taste. Yeah, uh, you can tell like uh, you know some of these buildings are meant to be that that that's simply a forest. Like what, like for example, the um, the herbal sh the uh, the herb shop though is uh, is uh, being taken is being housed in a, a giant mushroom. It, it still feels like a too too orderly organized that like an actual forest. Next up, we have the monster district. Here we have on uh, on members of the hunters guild. Go swap stories and and swap master carving parts, like for say, like for example, when felling a ancient red dragon or a young black dragon. There's also ones on, on uh, that that felled a um, I forgot the a like there's, there's a picture over there who's potting parts from a frog myth. A picture over there who's who felled a beholder. Basically, what it is basically it's monster it's monster hunter. The the district. Mm. Og. So the, and the, the, there are some shops here that uh, actually and um now sell parts and because uh, you know there's some artificers crafters who use some the monster parts for some of their experiments and or armor. Like um you can see in one of the shops though that and uh, is one of the few on uh, uh, armor and, and weapon shops you see on uh, like uh, this weird eye that's embedded, embedded into the uh, a shield mm. and yeah there's also like, uh, they have their own pub where uh, the, the, the the hunters from the hunters guild on um, go and tell tales swap stories on uh, also a, a little market district mar mar uh, market place where they uh, sell, trade, and buy monster parts and carves. Um, 
This is just a monster hunter. <laughs> yeah. Lastly, we reach the R&D district, Research and Development. Here, we experiment with like different mag magic, artifice, and machinery um, to incorporate with one, uh, within Sabotiel. And if the artifice guild de deems it safe, it is then um, 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 distributed amongst the public. And you see it can be see a, a whole entire small district that's dedicated to like experimentation with magic, uh, machinery, um, artifice, steam, uh, 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 steam, steam generators here or there. Um, you see a bunch of artificers walking, r r running around. Um, you see one that's working on like some sort of like using using levitation magic to, 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 to using le levitation magic to uh, um, make their boots. Um, Float so that way, uh, the, the, like for example, a uh, dwarven craftsman won't need a ladder to go up and down the house to, that, that, that they're building. But it's a little shaky and it, it doesn't work all the time. It, it, it's it's, it's that kind rocks. of thing. They have to keep rocks in their pockets or they'll float away, then they'll have to call their wife and pluck rainwater <laughs> in their pants. And... So they had a fan that's flying above them. What? They got a burp to get down. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Alright then. And that is currently in a chocolate factory reference? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. And that is basically the entire outer ring. Overall, before we go to the middle ring, you have any questions? Uh, no. I'm more really? curious to I'm more curious to get inside the areas that actually have uh, uh more advanced magic items i am interested about that dwarven forge area but i shall go there at a later date hmm. okay all right then we're now going to enter the middle district uh, 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 hold on hold on Just let me talk to the actual person in there and you see uh, uh dupree actually go there and uh, talk with the person and and reluctantly they let them in. All right then. They know you're in the tour, and I just want to make sure I stay with you guys. That's all that because you know my whole thing is meant to be for the outer um, ring. But eh, I, I, I mean, like eh, so like I mean, I mean overall, it's not every day you see you see the 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 the, the, um, the middle and, and inner ring. Of course, I'll have to talk with um the middle captain and the upper captain. Oh boy. Anyway, well, first things first, we are entering the smithing district. Here is where we are uh, taking alloys and raw, uh, alloys, raw, raw, ing uh, raw, uh, raw ingot, uh, ingots, raw materials, smelt them down, and forge them into armor and weapons. And you see all around you, you see like uh, just forges on, um, from, from as far as I, I can see. Uh, most of them are manned by dwarves, you see some manned by goliaths. Um, Bill Grieve, you seem a little un uncomfortable because uh, you're basically surrounded by fire. Mm. It is quite warm. And, um, yeah, you are wearing wooden armor. <laughs> and so, like, and, um, you see Forge, and, uh, again, mostly mostly run, run, run by dwarves, you saw some run by goliaths. Um, happen to see one that got caught your eye that's run by a fire genasi. Uh, there's like uh, a couple of uh, red dragonborns uh, in there as well, and you see some that, that are not making armor or weapons, though, like parts for like machinery, and you see of course like on uh, uh, in the outer edges of the district itself, they're melting down like raw ore into ingots. Any of the ingots we buy from the other uh, the main main powers, they immediately uh, uh, go here for smithing. And they're traded for weapons and armor to 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 the uh, other powers as a trade. Any ore of the adventurers or my or our own miners are not fine. It goes here to be smelted immediately. Like yeah, overall, as you walk through, it's just for like work, forge, and sweat. It's it, it basically an, um that scene of um of Simpsons when it went to the steel mill, but but, but without the gay no. dancing. Without the no. gay dancing. I want 
Um, oh. hot, hot stuff coming through. <laughs> uh, Dad, what? Send me to a gay seal mill. I don't know. I just don't know. But yeah, yeah, and 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 and, 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 and not, not the gay uh, the gay people, but it's, it's basically that scene. But the, without all that, it's basically just uh, a lot a lot of blacksmiths on uh, working their damn hardest on at at their individual forges. Hmm. See anyone you know, Belgrave? I do not remember. Oh, please don't catch a spark there, big guy. We. Oh, this is the part where we engage in casual racism. What do you mean? Uh, well, I noticed that there was uh, Goliaths, and our compatriot here is also Goliath, and then you happen to just ask if he saw anybody he knew. Okay. Best not see anyone you know? Well, considering that there's. Oh, I see what you did there. Next up, we have the middle mono district. Here is where we um, sell uh, some uh, high level magical items, more on the common side, and some high level scrolls, and also copies of any of any relics, as very rare magical items. You see shops okay. and shops, some magical items, uh, some scrolls. Um, it's This one's more fancier than the outer, uh, outer mana district. Okay, was I the only one that heard that last thing sounded like it said puppies? What? Oh, no, I, I was on the line that he said mostly common. Oh, uh, <laughs> mostly yeah. common. Yeah. Uh, mostly common magical items, and uh, um, mo mo yeah, mostly common ma magical items. Though some some rare, and uh, but nothing legendary here, because he uh, and uh, our, uh, and the um the robot also mentioned that um a, a lot of the uh, common items here are copies of relics from the from the the, the relic quarry. And we're in the middle district, right? Yep, we're in, we're in the middle mono district, the middle the middle of this of, of, of this pizza slice. The modern district, the modern district, the modern district is because it's on the same on uh, part of the of the city, but the, uh, but it has uh, the, the outer, inner, uh, the, the outer middle and uh, outer middle and inner. Okay, because I was seeing it like uh, you ever play Elder Scrolls Oblivion? Mm. They have a uh, uh, imperial city, and it's like set up kind. Of, oh, I guess it's not exactly the same way, but they have like. They're set up in like different sections, but it's mm. more like theirs is more like a wheel with spokes. Yeah, so I've seen like a wheel with like different rings around it. And so overall, in, in this district, though, you see like um, basically artifice and, and magical engineering are, are, are very very fancy. Uh, like some some have fancy fancy floating signs, and um, you see shops that dedicate to like, on um, selling magical uh, magical on um, um equipment, like um. Some wondrous uh, uh, magical items itself. There's there's some that's there are some again, and uh, some of the scrolls uh, I, again. But uh, as you go up though, you, the, these you can tell these scrolls are actually more more powerful and more expensive. And there are some weapon armor on um shops and as well that sells magical weapons and magical armor, which and uh, uh according to, according to the um the Warforge they're. The, a lot of these armor weapons though are copies of actual relics, uh, actual le legendary relics, and uh, uh, um, from the relic quarry. But they're meant they're meant to be um, um, they're copies of them. Um, they're copies of them, though, but you don't know why they're they're being copied. Money, obviously. Well, yeah, that. But yeah, you know, and uh, there's a thing to ask them before I ask them. I don't know I did that. Um, As a, they're about to actually and that send you back, send you to the next district. Hmm. What uh I know I know that you said that there there's uh I know you've mentioned magic items several times. Uh if I was looking for a specific one, where would I where might I go to? 
depends on what kind of um uh, who's doing that Oh, that's me. Sorry, I I'm, I have like restless hand syndrome. I'm trying to stay awake. Oh, um, because I'm getting sleepy. Yeah. So I'm just kind of like doing random shit to keep myself awake. Um, if you hold your breath for as long as possible, you're supposed to wake up. Why? I don't know. <laughs> that's what I heard. It each shop is individualized. You see one over there that's um specialized as an in, uh, in weaponry over there, especially in armor. Over there is a uh, magical trinkets like necklaces. And over there, it represents it magical objects. Mm -hmm. Each shop in themselves are more specialized, but they also have a, a close that and um, a close little technic group. You can ask one, and they get to put you in the right direction. You teleport me in the right direction. Point you in the right direction. Oh, I heard teleport, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Hallucinations. Go. If you don't have any more questions, we will reach the, the next district. Alright. Lead the way. Next up, you are entering the re re religious district. Any... As you can see, these are multiple multiple churches and cathedrals meant on, uh, for, for the, the different religions are, are all around the world. Uh, some more than others. For example, he points over to, to this very, very illustrious and uh, that big district. That is a district dedicated to Libertalia, the goddess of justice. They're also in charge of the security within Sabatiel. That's right, that's right. Proud pal of uh, Libertalia right here, walking right next to you. Hmm. Of course, there are other uh, uh, temples, not as big as, as uh, this one right here. Yeah. There's the temple on, uh, for Solarin, the god of the sun. Lunaris, the goddess of the moon. There's also the Xion, the god of the ocean. Temp and, and she started leaning up on a bunch of gods. Um, hold on, I also made a list of the gods as well. Hold on, I have, a, I have broken down an entire list for y'all. Well, let me break down this whole pantheon real quick. <laughs> well, I, I won't tell, tell y'all all of it. There's also, uh, also to cut, cut it short, I'll name you two more gods. There's over here is also is uh, Atreus, the god of war. And this is the Temple of Lumine, the goddess of light. But as you can see, it's currently not man right now. Cause, because the fact that the Libertarian clergy is... Throwing, all, uh, throwing a bunch of their efforts to find the lost clergy, but as of right now, we are maintaining its its uh, uh, its uh, little temple until they come back. Mm. And and Julius, you don't know why, but you feel a uh, uh, pain pain in uh, in your in your uh, chest uh, when you see this just just empty clergy uh, the Fort Illuminate itself being taken care of though, but it just feels very very empty. If you have any more questions, we will go to the next district. How many religious orders are in this ring? According to Master Bright, Master according to Master Brightwood, though almost all of them, his son, um, Clarion Brightwood, is in is pushing preferably to include all, all include on all the gods, no matter how small they are. We still haven't we still haven't have a temple for, um. For the God of the Forge yet, or the God of Dragons. Hmm. God of the Dragons. Huh? Next up, and uh, um, do you have any more questions as we are about to reach the, ne the next district? Um, let's continue. Next, last district for the middle ring. We have the ac academic district, which houses. The which houses the main buildings for the wiz the Wizard Academy, the Sorcerer's Temples, and the Great Library. And overall, it's just an, an academic um academy itself. You know, there are there are some buildings for general knowledge, as uh, general knowledge what comes to you know, the world around you and history, but uh, it it's basically an um cut in half. Uh, well, cut in thirds actually. Um, where like a uh, one part of it is meant to and, um teach and um, teach us sorcerers and how to control their their various powers 
and uh, control of it within the temple, while the academy is meant to just, again, train and get better than different wizards. And the great library, which uh, houses uh, um, knowledge, great knowledge for not only the magically and uh, innate and, uh, uh, people in the world, but also a- anyone that actually uses magic. So some some warriors that, that some warriors you know, that uses it, uh, some clerics, uh, some paladins, even some hunters and uh, no, even some rangers will will come will come here as well to study up and brush up on, on knowledge, knowledge that that uh, they can do. Upon upon hearing that hearing that though, man, uh, bass, you, you might be interested, maybe. Yeah, I am a nerdy boy, so it would make sense. With that, we go to the inner ring now. As we uh, go inside the inner ring uh, now, and um, you are stopped by um, you are stopped, you yeah, you are stopped by and uh, the captain like halt. Who does Dupree? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be on the outer ring. Sorry, captain. It's just you know I'm I'm part of the tour. You're supposed to be doing paperwork. One of your underlings should have been the tour guide. Uh, whatever, just do your job. Get an I'll I'll excite my own uh, paladin once you're done with within the uh, the center spire. But go back to your job. That's an order. Yes, yes, captain. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, and and tr- and turns to you and um, it's actually so you're actually surprised though. You actually see um, you actually see a um, a drow. And heavy plate armor for Libertalia, and he's the captain. Uh, on uh, basically the current captain of the entire uh, um, of of the of the inner ring. And you will know that the, the Libertalia though is on a uh, kind of like an um, at times can be can be zealous, but then you know, like, uh, and so uh, 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 which makes sense because they're, they're trying to uh, 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 uphold the, the law and. Overall, it's like a, a lot of the captain's members are mostly you know, just humans, elves, dwarves. This is actually the first time that you've actually seen a, an, a non of the main three as a captain, no less, uh, of, of, the, of the libertarian clergy. Well, for, for, the, for the mill ring and some TL. Mm. Again, Dupree just. Finish up. I'll, I'll send. Uh, I'll send my own. Uh, of course, Captain. And just give, he 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 leaves and gives the three a nod. Uh, we nod uh, back. All right. Now we would and uh, finish the tour within the inner ring. And also the the middle the middle spire, which houses the council building. We are entering now the. The Reliquary. This small district has buildings and that, that dedicated to sh- and, um, showcasing and researching the different relics we, we find the, throughout the uh, throughout the era. And you see immaculate armor and immaculate weaponry just in showcases, not being sold. A lot of them are trying to be on uh, research and see if they can be copied, but. You you would know of like an, uh, an, uh, these are powerful magical artifacts that legend like legendary heroes will wield. Like you see one, that's a giant pitch black sword. Um, this you, you see that then uh, it says that, that this was wielded by Tarkus himself before he got a new one, blessed blessed by uh, both the goddess of souls and the god of the forge for a new a new sword. Mm. It's pitch black. It's a little crack in the middle because that's why he needed a new one, but it's still par uh, as powerful as any um, um, wondrous legendary uh, legendary item uh, uh, of all. And they're, they're trying to see if they can try and copy it, uh, but uh, so far right now it's on display. Uh, a, a lot of the relics in the in the relic on, are on display. Huh? And and of course you see some that are familiar to you, Bast. You see some like an uh, like a, a, a legendary trident though that, that that's said to be blessed by Shion himself. Not not celestial. She on himself. Sure. A lot of the relic, relics in the reliquary are have been researched to try to see if we can copy their effects. About 
a 0.001% chance that happens. Which their goal is to see if multiple members will have same, the same and same magical weapon, so the Great War will never happen ever again. So far, any failures either turn to dust or are being sold within the middle um, um, mana district. Mm. Next up, we have the inner mana district, and same old, same old as as the uh, as as the middle one. Immacul uh, immaculate everything on a very very on um looks more hoity toity, um, and I. A lot of the artifice form trinkets, wearables, items, weapons, and armor, who are who are have a fifty percent chance of being success, uh, has a, are successful, are either uh, are either uh, are divided in half. One half goes to the both the, the army uh, the army of the Britalia and the army of uh, of Atreus, the god of war, while the other half are are being sold to the public. Mostly adventurers who have access to the inner ring, and you see like uh, imma uh, again immaculate items itself. Like um, you see uh, items that you won't see like in, in a very very long time. But basically, the uh, you see a bunch of a bunch of legendary uh, magical items being being sold, and same with high 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 powered scrolls. Is because you, you can tell like, the scrolls are actually made by a fine silk from the uh, um. From a different realm. Guess what there? Yep, yep. Yeah. All right then. Next, of course, we're gonna skip this one. It's just a residential district, which houses mostly just the inner ring and middle ring on the populace. And you see a bunch. Uh, you see a bunch of the you know those horny twenty types, those rich people, and mostly um mostly elves, mostly humans, some dwarves. Give me the stink eye, going like, what are these? What are these common folk doing here? That kind of look. Plebeians doing here. <laughs> such basically, all you hear is, huh, such plebeians. What are they doing here? But yeah, you're getting those type of looks. Also, surprisingly, you see like on um, on um, a couple of orcs and one dragonborn giving the same look as well. How fancy they are. Very fancy. I think you're forgetting how fancy you are, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. God damn it. And last last district within the inner ring, before we head towards into the central spire, is the the uh, the ambassador the, the ambassador district, which has all embassies for the four powers. One for the Black Turtle Union. One for the Phoenix Empire, and last um and one for the White Tiger, uh, the no, the 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 Black Troll Alliance, the Black Troll Alliance, the Phoenix Empire, the the White Tiger Union, and of course there's an embassy for the Sky Fortress and the Undersea Palace. Mm -hmm. And and for the, the for the Sky Fortress, you see uh and and uh basically um. You see a, a bald eagle and a bald eagle on Eric Cockra just on uh, doing paperwork. No, 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 he's just gonna bald Eric Cockra just on, um, talking talking with an, um, one of his guards as he go, goes back in. And for the the one for the undersea temple, you see an, um, a handsome Squidward Triton, just like an, uh, just. Mm -hmm. Just a, a, a talking with, with, with one of the, uh, the uh, uh, one of the guards, and you see the guards. Uh, Bass, you you would know this. Uh, those guards are from the Undersea Palace itself. Hmm. Interesting. You know them. I know of them. They are a royal guard. I do not. I'm unfamiliar with why they would be here, if... unless of course there's somebody. He just kind of trails off trying to think of why they would be there. Each of the embassies, and um, um, being each of the embassies, again, um, with the with the permission uh, of the council itself from of Sabatiel, the grounds they stand on represent each of their nations. So if you walk in the, walk into a, one of the embassies' grounds, you are, are 
technically, technically, on the, on within the four powers realms, if you enter the the one that's meant for the Phoenix Empire, and do a crime, you will be gonna you will be punished under the law of the Phoenix Empire. And same thing for any uh, of, of the other uh, of the other embassies. And you can tell that each of the embassies have been cultured and um, made to represent their nation. And lastly, we have the Central Spire, which holds the meeting place for the for the, the different and, uh, captains of the multiple rings. The the council itself, the, um, for the Sabotiel, and houses the different thrones for any of the six, any of the six uh, powers, albeit the main four, which is the Phoenix Empire, Black Turtle Alliance, White Tiger Union, or the Draconic Kingdom are the ones that show up mostly. As the Undersea Palace and the Sky Fortress, uh, and, um, at times uh, do not care about coming here. Unless, um, unless the, the threat turns themselves. And Bass, you can tell, like, on, um, the, the Undersea Palace on the Royal Family, though, they, they normally care about, um, mostly themselves, but also the other Undersea folk. Anything anything that happens to the humans, that is not their problem. The, the, the above, above, above dwellers. Mm. He's gonna make a mental note that they're just as pompous as the people in the area it's like they're made for each other and and uh, and uh, according to the robot though the same with the sky fortress and if any problems ha happen on the land or sea the sky for the sky fortress then that that will not care and he shows you in the, the the council room and basically and what it is though like i know basically basically it's kind of like um how should I put it though? A more medieval version of the of the other other republic the, the the republic senate from Star Wars. Um, yeah, well, flying chairs in a circle. No, no. Well, it's in a circle, yes, but the the the, the chairs aren't, aren't flying. They're they're uh, they're like medieval chairs. They're, they surround the they surround the spire. Uh, above them are um. They they the top, they basically surround the spire. Above them are the, the different seats where the um, if they so choose to and um, make an appearance, the different leaders of each of each power on a sit the, the seat. And you see the symbols on the um, um, you see you basically see the symbols on, uh, of their nation that on a card upon above their seat. There there's like an, um, there's a seat on um right above but below, right above um. Basically, and uh, the first, the first uh, ring above the the council is basically and uh, represents the, the four the four main nations on land, and above them is the the basically the, the royal families of both the sky fortress and and, and the undersea palace, because uh, they hardly mm -hmm. ever come here, but they they made room for them just in case, and for for sure good faith quote unquote, you would know that the bass that the the undersea palace and the ambassador for sure good faith rather than. Oh, I, I, like uh, basically, push up, go like I'll help you. Maybe not really. So, so, the, so the, the, ambass the ambassadors of for for that though are just there for show rather than do work. While the other, the, while well, the other four powers and of on land actually do help each other uh, to their to to the best of, of their ability. Because they're the ones, they're the ones that actually made a kinship ever since the, ever since the Great War. Because the Great War didn't really affect the Undersea Palace or the Sky Fortress. But, and overall, that is it. That is the entire tour of Sabatiel. Any questions? Uh, compatriots, do you have any questions? I think I understand most of it. I think I'm all right. And, uh, and that is it. That is the tour. Um, I am, I am Construct CMP-45, and I am Construct ATL-45. We thank you for being our tour, uh, uh, we thank you for making us our tour, tour guides. We will continue, and you will now be under the care of Captain du Dupree Sutherland. Oh, for now, until my my boss sends in his paladin, though. But um, yeah, 
Um, you two can go ahead now, as the two warfighters just just walk back to to the original position on the on the adventurous, the adventurous uh, district. So anyway, with th with that said in mind, you now have twenty four hour access to the entire district, and I have to go back to my palace or my my I have to go back to my place before. I see a random paladin pass by, uh, Captain Dupree. I'm here to relieve you, and there it is. Uh. I wish it would last a little longer. Uh, well, anyway, well, you three take care. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see you guys more often. As Dupree just, just uh, walks away. Paperwork. And, and, and with that, and with that, the, the, the guys are like, "Adventurers, I am here. Uh, uh, adventurers, I am here to escort you anywhere you want for the next twenty-four hour. Uh, for the next twenty-three hours." And with that, I right. will call that session. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, as in, uh, you have a, a week to f find out, uh, not, not, uh, not find out your name. Uh, it's gonna come to all right, us in the all right. So, and, um, we're, gonna, uh, we're and, gonna be playing like phasmophobia or something, and it's gonna happen. What a fat, <laughs> what a phasmophobia boys society PBS bitch. PBS. <laughs> All right. So anyway, and, uh, before you knock, uh, before you pass out, uh, Edward, where can we find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Emerald Tusk, where I stream, and at Emerald Tusk on Twitter, where I usually post when I'm in a stream. So. All right. And you can find me here at yes. Twitch.tv. You can find me here at Twitch.tv slash Catch and Sakura. Find me on YouTube under Catch and Sakura. Find me on Twitter under Catch underscore Sakura. Let's support my channel and all my endeavors. Go ahead and click on my mask. Oh, me so very, very much. And if you'd like to contact me while I do, go ahead and please give me a follow. Let's see, who can we raid? No one! Yay! Right, anyway, thank you guys for coming. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!